Hello and welcome, my beautiful phantom audience, to yet another rather um, for coink lo fi latest stream. How you guys doing today? <sighs> what a morning after my dance party. I finished dancing. Maybe they say it's so beautiful out here tonight. And I respond with, Yeah, it's such a nice night or something. And then they say, You make tonight even lovelier. And then we kiss it all. Yeah, you're so romantic. Ah, so hi. Hey, guys. Hey, Borb. Hey, Borb X Bundle. Thank you for the almond contributions to the wheel stream. How you doing? Allergies seem to be better today. Good, 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 good. I'm so glad. Allergies stink. They stink so bad. They're the worst. Good to hear. Good to hear. I had a bit of a morning. Um, let's see. So, yeah. That was pretty good. Okay. So, as you guys know, we're going to be playing some Dark Cloud 2. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit excited. Um, I am ready to continue the game. More or less. All right, let's go. Time for some speed. Ignore that. Time for some speed. -a. Oh my god, did I actually say time for some speed? Uh, oh no! <laughs> I didn't know it was a cool, perfectly legitimate- Yeah, exactly! It's a capture card! Not my capture card. <laughs> Alright, looks like I've got the screen set up properly. Confi! <laughs> Confi! God, they give you absolutely no time. Okay, there we go. It's worried for a second. Looked like, felt like it wasn't registering my buttons. All right, let's continue. So, if you guys remember, we were um, hmm, we were we had just finished up with um, I believe we had just finished up with Balance Valley, and we are actually getting ready to head to the new area. The Lunatic Laboratory, I believe, is what it's called. Something like that. And we have our party back, so we can make bombs and stuff again. Eric, come here. I need your expertise. Balin Valley. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, instead of Balance Valley. In fact, Balance Valley is my least favorite diorama. Wait, really? I thought you said it was your favorite. Oh, no, you meant it was your favorite, like, segment of the game? Like, for the dungeoning and stuff? I thought you said this was your favorite place. Huh. Oh, you thought I was gonna love it. That's what it was. I think you said you thought I was gonna love it. Maybe that was it. I don't quite remember, unfortunately. Let's see. Do we have any other... Who else do we have that has production ability? It's been a while. It feels like it's been a while. <laughs> no, you're gonna love the net. Oh! Alright, then. Makes cheese. Fabio can make bait, but I have... I have too much bait. I have too many fish. I'm too attached to my darn fish. See? Ferdinand makes me true. 
Yeah, let's run in and go grab some premium chicken from Ferdinand. Cheese. My cheese just melts in your mouth. Thanks, Granny. Thanks, Granny Rosa. Rufio. Gives you bonus damage, will sell you elements. Julia, I don't remember what you do. Bewitches enemies with a certain range will sell you armbands. Ah. Because as the scul perfect sculpted woman, her traits include um, charming, uh, charming people and jewelry. <laughs> Distractions and jewelry. I don't think balance value because there's nowhere to go from one valley to another without Carpenterian. Oh, you're right. Gerald. Oh, this is my dad. Sell you guns, gives bonus points for guns. You're just the best character in the game. Nope. But how are people supposed to live there? That's a good point. And you can't make bridges, can you? Wait, you can make bridges, I think. Carefully. Mm. You checked yesterday. You can't. Dang. Only well, a top chef can make delicious food wherever he goes. Give me Jim Kent. I want Jim Kent. Mm. Give me Jim Gun. Go ahead and thank you. Go ahead and eat up while it's still hot, Sonny. No. I will hold on to it forever. And probably not use it until the end games. It's going to be nice and cold. Cold Jim Gun. Arm. Polly makes bread. True. Hey, Born. Purple's a great color. What do you do? Escaping the time you want to sell paint. Nope. <laughs> Alright, so to Sindane we go. Yeah, that does thing, not being able to make bridges and all. Mm. No, nope, Polly's in this one. With the cart. All right, in we go. Let's get some bread from Aunt Polly. God, it's been a while. I need your bread, Miss Aunt Polly. I'm running low on stuff. Oh no, it's gonna sound awful. Only a top chef can make delicious food wherever he goes. Give me Jim Ken. I want Jim Ken. <laughs> Give me Jim Ken. I want Jim Ken. Any more of your bread? I'm going with the withdrawal. Agreed. Help. Mm-mm. Fresh bread. Mm-mm. Fresh from the oven. Mm-mm. Fresh from the mm-mm. Fresh from the oven. Mm-mm. Fresh from the oven. All right, now we can start setting ourselves up again. Mm-mm, fresh from the oven. Let's see. Mm. All right, 11 breads. I'm using up all my crunchy bread. Like six for Monica. Five for Max. Also, cheese is good. Hey! Um, let's see, some mighty healing. I don't. Mm. 
we could probably afford to just get rid of all the holy waters and soaps and Medusa's tears and just buy mighty healings instead, yeah? How much are mighty healings? Hold on. Where's where's the doctor? I don't remember where he lives. He lives next to the church, doesn't he? Or no. No, the the oh wait, we're not in there. We're not there anymore. Um I put the doctor in one of these houses. Yep, there you are. Hi, Dr. Dell. I'm here to buy mighty healing from you. If someone's sick, I'll go anywhere to help. 300 gilda per. Yeah, it's worth it. Eight. Well, like nine. We'll buy nine. All right. Why not buy eight and a half? Well, because I can't hold it now. Because the half will take up another inventory spot that I don't want to use up because they could be used for fish. All right, so. I also don't really care about these damaging items. You can if you believe. Let's see. Where's the bomba? Bomba! We have so few bomba. Um, I'm gonna sell the. Yeah, I'm gonna sell all these. Um, ex mondo. Is this a terrible idea? Is there like some sort of? You can't buy those elemental stuff. <sighs> either. Let me see a question with a question. Ooh, I love questions! <laughs> or sweet ones. Do you plan on getting all the medals? <sighs> no. Not even- no. There's no way. Wouldn't we be here for like a thousand years? We'd be here like for a long, long time if I tried to get all the medals, yeah? Let me answer your question with another question. Let me answer your question question with a question. Is it feasible to do on a five hour per day, five hour per week uh, timeline? If I don't want to be playing this game until I guess the biggest question of all, um, you can title this one as question two if you, this is the only one you want to answer or that you can answer. Um, is there some super duper hyper prize, like something that'll actually be make it make the time investment worth it, and not simply a badge of honor to get all the medals? I got all the medals in about 140 hours while also writing that guide. It's a lot of time. How much? How long have we been playing the game in the first place? And that was with being focused and ex bondo, which I am not either of those. <laughs> We've been playing for about 38 hours. 
And this is a, and that's on a streamer, but I was also losing time because I was writing. True. Yeah, but see, I don't usually try to 100% complete games because when I do, it tends to get kind of tedious and sloggy. Um, at least. See my Hollow Knight playthrough. The only thing medals get you are at Mayor's Needs Shop. That's it? Okay, so it is like a... It is like a completionist thing. Just... Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What are you giving me, Mayor Need? Clown suit. Okay. Oh, Panther Ensemble, a bikini. A name change ticket. Any old medals is almost impossible because of Speeda. Ha 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 ha. You underestimate my power. I rather like Speeda, but I'm also not super good at it. Um. What have you actually- so, your point does still stand. Hello, Sky Blue Fur! I well, hope you enjoy watching me, um... Hop around and get consumables, I guess. How are you doing today? Speed isn't the problem with the metal zone. I feel like, yeah, the biggest problems are probably the item-only floors. Those seem awful. Which I assume is what you're getting at with this. <laughs> Quippy hair! I really like her whippy hair. I think we're ready to go. You want to leave? Yeah, I think we're ready. Here we go! <laughs> Happy hair wiggles! Mm. Elemental stones are good for item only floors, yes. There's a strategy for them and the bombs are just not enough. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, let's go. To the Lunatic Laboratory! Alrighty, let's move them out. Ocean, here we come! Ocean, here we come! It's gonna be like fully underwater, like really deep underwater with like shadows moving in the water and you were totally sarcastic about me liking it. <laughs> oh, Venetial! Wait, 30 hours and still not Venetial? You try to complete 100% each zone? No, I'm a streamer! I never shut up! <laughs> also, I like stream- I like the- uh, I like- mm, Smell that ocean breeze. I like fishing a lot. So this is what the ocean smells like. What? You've never been to the ocean before? He's never been out of his town before, girl. What are you talking yeah. about? Well, I've seen pictures and books, though. Wow. <laughs> I like, since the, the models don't really turn to, like, face each other or, like, change, change facing during dialogue, it kind of just looks like, uh, yeah, I... <laughs> that's normal, right? <laughs> Right here waiting for you. Hey, now it's the bridge that's down. Oh my god. To us. They've just been they've just been hitting every connective tissue to each individual town. Well, let's get going. Alright, let's get going. Time to find another sex child to save. Let's do it. Is it your first it is my first time on the game. I've never played this game before. This was this was a part of this was a childhood part that I never, that I never did. Everybody, everybody loves this game and I never played it. I never had it. So, um, this is my first time experiencing it. I really like it. I really like it. It's a really, really good game. All right, down we go. To winning Joel. Oh, it's beautiful. 
Beautiful! Comfy! Yes, me! Comfy! Yep, sure is. Amazing! Make sure to not get sand wow. in your boot. It feels so good. Water. What do you think? Like it? Oh, it's your favorite one. Well, it's a beach, of course. Oh, yeah. Come and join me. It feels great. Sure, okay. Too bad I didn't get the swimsuit. Huh? What's going on? It's coming from that cave. Let's check it out. What is? I didn't hear anything. It. Is that if I hadn't set out on this journey, then I never would have seen the sea. <laughs> Thank you, Skyblue, for, for the follow. So in the world that I Hope you enjoy seen. sticking around for a little while. Right then, I wanted to see them all. Yeah, I get and it. More than even these wonderful things, I wanted to see your smiling face, Mother. Oh. But, um. Chapter 4 Goodbye, Shingala. Goodbye, Shingala the Tiger. Your mana cost is way too high. All right. Oh, there's a book over there. I like for people's towns online to build people. Whoa, you can go online in this game. Oh, I see what you mean. Never mind. I understand. What you <laughs> I understand what you mean. No, no, you don't have to clarify. I understand what you mean. My bad. Crazy stuff that you find! A Georamath enthusiast! How's house? Hey, Ether, how's it going? Google image, gotcha! Pow! <laughs> you mustn't move it. I said not to move it. Water horse! Oh no! Baby's cut! What do you want? Lapras! I'm a bit tied up right now. That's a Shigura, isn't it? He's still a child. A Shigura. Uh, oh, okay. Hey folks, begging your pardon, excuse me, sorry to barge in. Now let's skip the tears and start on the whole, you know, being dead thing. You're doomed, enjoy the scene, the sword of Damocles is swinging. If I hear your cell phone ringing, I'll kill you myself, the whole being dead thing. <laughs> Fine, how you doing, Rune Moon? Rune Moon. Always come up with the most bombastic entrances to my stream. I think it's play references. I believe it's references to, um, stage plays. Ah, oh, so you know about them, do you? See, I'm not very big myself on stage plays, uh, but, um, just by context clues. I gave him a name. I gave- I call him Shingala. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. I really hope we're just releasing him out in the ocean to go to his real family. He turned up here lost about a month ago. Oh no! I heard about this time. The Shigura come from the south and live on these shores for a while. Mm. Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy X, or Dark Chronicle? Yeah. Yeah, the PS2 was a wonderful system. Just keeping an eye out for the sound again. <laughs> The last time we talked about how great a PS the uh, system the PS2 was, we got ambushed by the sound. This one must have got split up from the tribe. Oh. I'm Pow. I live in this cave. Hi, Pow. How's it going? I figured it was your house because when we walked through the cave, we got this big sign that floated above our vision that said Pow's house. Is that normal? I'm Maximilian. I'm Monica. Is Shingala injured? Yes. He slipped from the cliff yesterday and took Spider me with him. Oh. God, that red, that giant red angry gash is just making me so sad. I know it's I like... I didn't think human medicine would be any good. We found Spider's George. Damn it. <gasps> Language. Sorry about this. Oh, I thought he was gonna run over. I need to ask a favor. 
I thought he was gonna run over and grab the bottle like somebody who threw their cell phone. Like, I, yeah, I need that. <laughs> Can you watch Shingala while I go and look for some medicine? Outside the cave, there's a place where some Shigura are gathered. Oh. I think if I go there, I might be able to find some medicine that'll help. Sure. So we watch are helping. Him. What do we do? Oh. Wait, watch it. I thought you wanted me to go to the. Oh. I missed. I missed. I was paying attention to other things. I guess we'll watch him. Sure. Um. I guess I was right about another. S no, I was kind of right. Not sick child, but injured child. Just watch him. Just watch him. I'll be as quick as I can. Thanks. I mean, uh. Hey, wait a minute. I don't know how to watch children. Aw, oh, man, he's just gone. Monica looks inordinately angry. <laughs> how come we get stuck here babysitting some sea dragon? Well, he's not some sea dragon. He's Shingala. The nerve of that kid. Kid? He's probably not much younger than you are, girl. Oh, it's not that bad. This big guy's pretty cool. As long as he doesn't go on a rampage or anything. I oh, baby. Hmm. Rabbit's dessert, they do. Oh! What? Um. What's the matter with him? Don't run off, please. He's headed outside. Don't. No. We've gotta stop him. He's currently not doing anything, Max. It's no good. Wow! I had a feeling this was gonna happen. I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense, but sure. Hi, Dream Redeem. Shingala, no! <gasps> okay. <laughs> Since we only saw like the back half of Shingala, it turns out that wasn't actually Shingala. That was one of the other Shig um, Shigura, and uh, Shingala was behind a rock. And as soon as we run off, he just goes back inside the cave and lays down. Pal comes back and is like, "Why didn't you watch him?" <laughs> so is this actually just the baby episode from? I'm gonna just finish another round of React with me. Fine! Nah, I'm good. But I appreciate it. <sighs> Honestly, my weapons are doing pretty well so far. Um. This time it ended in 40 minutes. That's a nice long, that's a nice decent length for a game. Four turn kill, not, not bad. Okay, so. Whoa! What? Okay, I have lots of synthesis points I haven't used. <gasps> and I don't remember why I haven't used them. Attack, chill, smash. I don't have any gems left. Don't go to invention mode in dungeons, otherwise the game will crash. It will? I don't think that's happened yet. First two turns were boring, but on the third turn I threw myself a mission. Nice! Uh, Save and try. All right, sir. Sure. All right. Let's see. What about Monica's sword? Four points on Monica's sword. No points on the armband. No points on the gun. I've been focusing mainly on the gun and the armband. Let's see. What is? What do we need for... Oh, what was I going to... I was planning on doing the cyclone exorcism, yeah? I think I was planning on going in on this... Continuing on the cyclone exorcism route. Um, I need three holy crystals for that. Okay. So I don't think Max... Needs exorcism? No, just chill and smash. Alright, so what if we do like... Let's do like five chill crystals first. I'm sure that'll be plenty. But you want ma? No, actually. 
All right, let's do the other two. In dungeon you go to make, then try to go out of menu and it freezes? I don't think that's ever happened to me before. I, I feel like I might... I feel like that might not be for my particular copy. Every copy of Dark Cloud 2 is personalized. Oh, okay. That's not enough. Let's see. And then we'll go with... Six, we'll go with like seven Hunter Crystals. Or Destruction Crystals. You want fun? Steve, show you fun! This one's gonna take a while. Alright, well in that case, let's just continue with the smash. Let's just do five smashes. There we go. Alright, smash is done. And now it's ridiculous. Let's see, um... And we already, we did not boost Monica's sword. So she needs Cyclone and Exorcism. So we could do, let's do all three of the Exorcism. Smashy, smashy! Ether, thank you for the almond contribution to the wheel stream. <sighs> Exorcism, not enough. And we'll do one Wind Crystal. That hammer will now be perfect for a melee. It will. Oh, because of Smash. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, all right. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. And nothing else can get boosted at this point. Wait. I never went and talked to... Hold on. You said I don't think I did. I don't think I ever went and talked to this lady. Manail? What is her name again? Be my friend! What sort of sword is that? Man! All right, well, I don't know. I guess we're never going to get her as a friend because I sold the Gladius, so that's fine. I know how to do it, but... And I, and Xbox is kind of leading me in the right direction, but... I don't want any outright answers, if you guys don't mind. How? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, let's move to the... Very Joe! Wait a minute. This is the Giorama? Oh, no way. Wait, how do I get down? Okay. Okay. We can't do it yet. We'll see. We'll see. Oh. Oh. oh no way. It's on the shallows. Oh. Don't go into the future. I do what I want. But no, I will not be going into the future yet. I don't know. I don't know why Melaine. That's her name. I don't know why Melaine won't let me. I don't know why Melaine won't upgrade my sword or me my friend. Here we go. The Ocean's Roar Cave, it seems. Ooh. Okay. Time limit, fish goal. No, Sfida! You mean I can't play Sfida in Ocean's Roar Cave? Why not, I wonder?
Me and Shingala. I think I have an idea of why now that I've got Monica Stra- Oh. Pintol. Hello. Dang it. I let go with the last second. I honestly think, uh... I think Max would be a better... This isn't... Okay, there we go. Smash! Yeah, there we go! Get rolled! Max is good for these big, tough, shelly monsters. Rock. Bonk. <laughs> he got bonked. Oh, I like the ch the the chests in here. Cheese chests. Huh? Hello. Oh, oh no. Oh, you look like a undead skeleton man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Undead deadified. Immediately got myself on a cart because I forgot my free pro potions. Starting Monster Hunter World. Oh, fun. See so that geostone. Wait, what's this? No, 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 no. Wait. What? Okay, this is gonna be a lot. This is gonna be a little more interesting than the last ones. Caves! It's fun so far, meeting people up on an oversized instrument. Yeah, Warhorn is the. Warhorn for life, baby. Why is he so slow? It's a blood weapon that needs to be sharpened with a whetstone. Yeah. Ah, no. <gasps> Frog. It's a Garon. Can't do the. God, is there like a way to do the leaping attack more consistently? Whoa! Uh, uh, it used to be really much easier for Monica to do it than. Um, than Max, and now I can't figure out a way to get either of them to do it. I thought I'd figured out the trick, but turns out I was wrong. It might only work when you're locked on, though. Let's want the bread out for cheese, honestly. Cave time! Hello, scary pirate inside of a dark cave. I'm just a lonely lady. Walking all on my lonesome. You could totally attack me and steal all my money if you wanted. Just kidding, I have a sword. <laughs> Time to die. He's been dead for like five minutes. Let's see. Um... I need to be using some the armband more often. Especially with how much how many resources and stuff I put into it.
I think the reason there's no Sveeta here is because of the dual section they've got going on. Ah, uh, maybe. Fireball! Do you emulate? I only emulate my favorite streamers in an attempt to become better! <laughs> Well, at least that's what I did in the beginning, but then I changed and started doing other things! Because I got my own style! I'm asking about the game, my friend! Uh, uh, well, how you doing, Elabon? Uh, hope you enjoy watching me deep dive into caves! It's also known as Spelunky. Um, I choose not to answer the question! For personal reasons! Thank you! <laughs> Why? Well, I don't know, I'm just kind of matching Ella Balloon's energy! They kind of walked in with this and I just felt like I needed to! <laughs> Darkness! <laughs> It's a bone in a tennis gear! I do not recognize that language! <laughs> How are you doing today, El Balloon? El Balloon? I was going to ask why we were shouting for the next Bondo Ditto! <laughs> it's a new follower. Thank you for the follow, El Balloon! I hope you, have a, I hope you enjoy sticking around for a little while! I forget about charge attacks. They're very, very powerful. I just... Well, I hope... Well, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. Alright, so... Still haven't found the magic rock. Ah! Contribution to the wheel stream. Perchance, I'm curious. Um, how long does it take the armband to be full power? Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, my day redeem. Actually, another question I choose not to answer on stream. It's a secret. <clears throat> you mean to charge? Yeah, to charge it. How long does it take to charge? Like to fully ch to charge to maximum efficacy. Is, is there like a to say for the memes? Well, I don't wanna understand my. I don't know any age meme. hip on the memes. You see, I'm an old lady and I do not understand what makes kids happy. <laughs> it's not entirely true, but let's see. At least it takes about four cycles of the sound clip. Okay, thank you. That sounds about right. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't really have any character. Magic crystal. Oh god. <laughs> Give me button bat up. Mm -hmm. That's all I know. I'm firing my laser. Wait, you go further down into the cave? Oh, this is gonna be wild. 
This is not what I was expecting. seems to be really close to full power, so we can probably get away with three. I'm curious. One. One. Okay, that was weird. It didn't use a charge. Oh, I knocked him out of the sky! With how much donut you show face, sir. Uh... Face, sir. Distance always plays- Oh. Got him! Baba Booey. Let's see. Anybody? Oh, there's a hidden Corsair! Ha 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 ha! Never mind, I thought I was safe. But... What chapter is this? This is chapter four, actually. I am currently on chapter four. Um. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. It was a little, it was, it was funny at first, if you don't mind, uh... Well, I mean, it's not really... Well, I mean, it's not really hurting anybody, though. Well, is it... I mean, it, no, it's... is it? It's not really bothering me. I guess it does feel a little loud for this stream. We're kind of chill on this stream. I keep orders from Wish $3, my friend. Fair enough, Is a big problem. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I hope... I guess if you're in the market for... It sounds like you're in the market for one. I hope you find a better keyboard soon. I wish you the best of luck. Also, I mentioned fishing. I'm guessing that... The fishing is... No problem, El Balloon. Am I going to fish to the memes? Probably not. For the memes. Not that either. Um, again, I'm not really big on memes. Oh! Um. Instant block. Max, go! Oof. Okay. Care of you guys. True. Yeah, I know. Why can't I just have one fish? Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Let's find a magic bag. I really want a magic bag. Uh, can I drink the beach water? Sure. You know what? Drink the beach water. Just make sure to top it off with some actual fresh water afterwards. And don't say I didn't warn you. Beach water is very, very not tasty. There's a pressure here. You can put something in. The, Luma, the Luna Stone. You're probably getting a lot of salt and sand from that, probably. Whoa! It's pretty cool. Oh, this is like the... F huh. Topping off a swamp. Mm, I guess. Wait, my phone didn't shut Oh, no, I'm sorry, Mega Bear. Hello. How you doing? I'm in the 
Yes, he came! I am! Yeah. Oh, I'm still... I remember now. You once read me a story about a turtle who traveled the seven seas. Um... Oh, a turtle! Oh, flashback! You already asked me that on the bone, though. Attack the sea turtle. Attack the sea turtle. The end. <sighs> Mother, what is the sea like? Mother! The sea? <laughs> Why would you ask that? <laughs> you can see oh his mama is pretty and then the sky and sea meet and become one i know it's she has beautiful oh. oh that was a really i really liked that add-on <laughs> i was that's the first thing i thought of <laughs> the first thing i thought it was tech and the power of juju Eh, nothing amazing. Yeah, I watched. I think I watched somebody do like a speed run of it, and yeah, it was, looked okay. <laughs> hmm. I don't really get it. I noticed she's wearing a green amulet. I want to see it myself. When you get a bit older, we'll go there together. Mm. Really? That's a promise, right? I'll see it for sure. Why couldn't they have just gotten like a kid? I mean, I know, I know you gotta pay voice actors, but like, did they have to have him just do <laughs> like a really scrunched up voice? I mean, to be fair, does anybody else remember that game got a Nicktoon? Yeah, no, I remember. Maybe Max's voice is great. What are you talking about? All right, fair, fair. All right, you know what? I will, I'll give you that one. It's part of the experience. Okay, all right, fair. I was a little, I was a little harsh, a little judgmental. I'll stop coming for, oh, hi? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't have any sk I didn't go talk to Donnie to get the scoops. Scale. Do we have anything that do we have anything with good scale damage? Not apparent uh oh. Considering Goku's Japanese voice doesn't change at all from the beginning of Dragon Ball to present day. Wait, really? I didn't really I didn't know that. Day! There's another one! They do seem to be vulnerable to freeze. Okay, I probably should have. Also, doing well. Played some Void Rains upon our heart this morning. Yay! Yay! Honestly, it's been a while for me too. I should, I should jump back in for a little while. I should definitely do a Void stream sometime in the future. That's a game. That's like a. That was a classic, like startup game. One of my first. One of my first. Oof. Favorites that I haven't revisited in way too long. Bat! Nobody told me there were bugs in this guy. I'm kidding. I, I'll drop it. I'll drop it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um. I'm sorry! <laughs> the noodle is. That's the last bats or bugs. That's the last bats or bugs joke you'll hear out of this lo fi lady. Let's see. Why is it a bit intimidated to go back to things I've really enjoyed in the past? But I think it'd be best to. I think it'd be bad to avoid them entirely. I agree. 
I think I've actually talked about this in the past. Um, my favorite, my favorite movie of all time is Bell by uh, Mamoru Hosoda. It is a, um, it is the the anime movie with the girl with the pink hair. Um, oh, I found the Luna Stone. Um, I highly recommend it. It's a really, really, really good movie. It is not one of, but well, it might be. No, no, it's my favorite movie of all time. I love it so much. It is so incredible, and um. I haven't watched it since I saw it in theaters. I don't think I've heard of it. It's rather amazing. Um, I actually haven't watched it since I've seen it in theaters because I'm always worried like, oh no, maybe I won't enjoy it as much as I did the first time. No! Not the devil coin! Hey, yo, up, yo, how you doing? The anime movie with the girl with the pink hair. Do you have the slightest idea how little that there is a death? Well, first of all, I gave you the name as well, which I was hoping would narrow it down a little. Let's see, um... What's this? <gasps> Escape powder! Oh, when did I pick this up? That would actually be really helpful. Play some Dina, play some Dina Rhythm, fantastic! Good to hear! It's called Bell. Bell 2021? No, hold on. No. No, it came out in 20... No, 2022. It came out in 2022, because I remember. I remember. I saw it in February 2022 before it started streaming, and I freaked out really bad. I was I was the first... One of the first times I was late to a stream was because I had to go... I had to go buy the limited edition... I might actually still have the picture on my computer. in OBS images. Where would it be, I wonder? Looks like I don't have it. Weird. Am I just missing it? Hmm. Also, I played, um... Loving the theater rhythm demo. It's 30 songs and all difficulties, and there's a lot of. I saw, I saw, and it's the the it's the the demo, so the it's free. <laughs> also, I played Final Fantasy VII, the original one. Oh, the remake of the original, or the remaster of the original on Steam. It, cool. I played it as a kid without knowing English. The only thing I remember was that I reached a place where I climbed tons of stairs. Really, I didn't. Um, see, I never played Final Fantasy VII. I actually didn't play Final Fantasy VIII until I was older, but I had, um, I loved the demo for Final Fantasy VIII on this old demo disc I had. There's no way I don't have it saved. Oh, you know what? It might have been on the old computer I was using. But why didn't I put it in here? Shame. We love demos here? Yeah. <laughs> no thank you! And how's you? I'm doing good! I'm looking for an old picture I took. Did Dan demos on other games on this? I do! I do! Good times! Those were very interesting, neat times. Um, but I do also remember that, um, I kind of preferred digital gaming because I would always lose my discs and they would get put in the wrong case and um, people wouldn't put them back if they played them or uh, the cases would get the discs would get scratched and you could never play the game again. And so it's like, yeah, I do remember that there were some great times about discs and stuff, but I also remember that it was a little frustrating at times. 
Slide 2 demo was so Oh, they had a demo for Slide 2, I didn't realize! 7 did not grab me at all, but when 9 came out, all my friends thought it wasn't edgy, and that's of course maybe it was the best one! Yeah! I never played 9! Um, I honestly, I agree though, 7 didn't grab me at all. Um, I'm looking for an old picture I took of my, um... An old picture I took of my, um... My limited edition, um... Metal case DVD uh, of Bell. I went out early in the morning uh, when I was supposed to normally be streaming, and I um <clears throat> back before I wasn't terrible with schedules. Um, yeah, I guess I could take a new picture. I'd have to hold on. Hmm. That's I don't know how I would hold on. How would I actually wait? Oh, I bet you. I can think of one way I sent it to myself. I bet you I know how I did this. I can actually think of only one way of how I sent it to myself. Can you search stuff that only has, like, attachments? Hmm. No. Yes! I knew it! <laughs> here it is! I knew it was gonna be in here. This is the, um, this is the Metal Case Bell by Mamoru Hosoda. Back on mobile, fine! Enjoy your mobile time! Nine is very silly. Some great characters. Aww. Yeah, this is my, uh, I, I went out, like, early in the morning, um, I was worried. I, I, I went out as soon as the store opened because I was, I was actually afraid people were going to go in and buy up all the copies. Nobody wanted it. <laughs> Nobody bought them. Um, but um, I did... Um, in fact, I think there was an issue... If I remember correctly... Oh, I do remember what... No, I remember what happened. Yeah, that was really... I remember what happened. Um, so, uh, they weren't... They weren't unpacked yet. They weren't unpacked. They just received them, and they hadn't they hadn't unpacked. And so, um, they were. Um, I had to I had to have a friend to go get it later because I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. So I had to I had to uh, go back and uh, I had to head home and stream. So um, I had a friend go buy it for me, or go well, kind of. Yeah, I had a friend go buy it for me and bring it back. And so, and, and so I ended up getting it. I'm so happy. I love it. This, I actually own, I own the movie in three separate ways because I am weird about things sometimes. Um, I bought it, I bought it digitally. I bought the original Blu-ray and I bought the metal, the metal case. Check it out. It's a great movie. It's a wonderful, wonderful, really, really, um, emotional fantastic movie it's very very cool it's um <clears throat> basically it revolves around this um um how much would be like just a plot synopsis so the main character is um uh The main girl is the main character is a music enthusiast who unfortunately due to a trauma in her life has lost her ability to sing. 
And so she ends up getting immersed in this digital world that everybody is hanging out in and finding new purpose and a new direction in life. This part of the story again because people can't stop talking to me with a bad time. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, basically, I went to go pick it up as soon as the store opened, but they hadn't actually unpacked their new stock for the morning. So I had to go home and stream and then a friend, I had a friend go buy it for me. Sounds relatable. It does. It does. Um, that's, it is very wonderful. I would honestly, I'd honestly be tempted to, um, since I have it digitally, I'd be tempted to try to find a way to, like, stream it. Not, and probably, I obviously couldn't get away with, well, I probably couldn't get away with streaming it, like, live to, to Twitch, but we could do, like, a Discord watch party one day. Um, <clears throat> maybe. Where am I going? <laughs> Yay. Discord is the usual route for that. Yeah, I know, uh, um, would watch. Fantastic! Maybe one day. Maybe I'll think about it. Oh, there's the door. I need to get the map. <laughs> oh, yay! All right! And a whole watch party lined up! I'd have to... Oh. Whoa! Oh, he's a big smash. Okay, we need smashy for this guy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so do certain do different weapons have like different block values? Because I noticed that Monica took damage through her guard, uh, but Max didn't. Block depends on defense, I believe. Oh, we should also watch Sorceress, Stabber, Orphan. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I guess we could. Yeah. I mean, do I play Sly Cooper 3? I used, uh, I have played it. Yes. Sly Cooper 3 is a fantastic game. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually planning someday to do the entire Sly series. Well, would you play it for the memes? I probably no, no. I'd play it. I'd play it one hundred percent unironically. Um, I'm not even aware of any memes around Sly Cooper Three. Um, we might not play the first one. The first one gives you backstory, but I don't think you need it. Just play seventy-five percent of the series. Yeah, maybe just fifty percent. All three Sly games. Yeah. All three Sly games. I might, I may play. Oh, oh, that's what you guys were thinking. No, no, no. I, I wasn't even. Cons I was only considering the three Sly games to begin with, the three real ones, uh, the only ones that exist. Um, I think we could probably get away with skipping the first one. I honestly think it makes the second one a lot more interesting because that's actually how I played it when I was little. I played. Uh, we never got the first one. I got the second one. Wasn't quite sure what was going on, but still had a lot of fun and. Piecing together uh, what happened in the first game was very, very fun. Also, that was back before Naughty Dog. Um, that was back before Naughty Dog started doing that thing they do with Uncharted and Tomb Raider where they pretend like the previous games didn't exist. Oh, no. Um, I got a bomba. Oh, jeez. All right, all right, I'll Steve. Time's come on, Steve. Let's do this. Steve's not. Steve's not doing too much either. I think Steve needs fourteen hundred to level up again. Yeah. We'll just keep using Steve for the remainder of the floor. Because I want to upgrade Steve's core so that we can get new stuff. You buy new stronger arms? Yeah, I'm planning on it. I think I already got the new stronger arms, actually. But I can't equip them because I don't have space. 
Lurk mode activated! Hey, Warb, enjoy your lurking in the phantom audience! There's just like riffles or blades way stronger? What? <clears throat> the only one I have access to right now, long distance, is so much better. Yeah, probably. I could get the cannonball shooter. I think I can make the cannonball shooter. Hmm. We've been here for a minute now. Let's just test it. I can get the clown hand, which I think is actually just normal and not good. But her name Dragonfly makes Seed of Invention. Oh. Night of Fire! <laughs> I remember currently you can buy the Saber to Cedric at the trade station already? Saber. Uh, maybe he unlocked that, but. Ha ha! My copy is incredibly powerful! Like some rams. Whoa! I don't want too much info of stuff that I haven't seen yet, if you don't mind. Um, but that sounds wild. No worries. Hey, I mean. No, I'm not. It's all good. Hurry up and get fixed. I like the ranged weapons in this game, so I put a lot of um, I put a lot of effort into boosting them up. I think they are lagging behind a little bit, but um, generally speaking, I put a lot of stuff like the the music. Oh, I love the music in this game. I put uh, all my gems into my ranged weapons because they were lagging behind really badly. I do too. This is actually a beautiful dungeon environment. I was actually I was. I wasn't quite sure if Xbondo was getting sassy or was being legit with how, whether or not I would love it, but I love, I love this beach environment with the, with the sunsets and the, the waves lapping on the shore. I love it. Me sassy? I'm offended. You wouldn't be. <laughs> I know that's not true. Boom. Tailstone! No sass detected here? Nope. No sass detected. <laughs> no sass detected, sir. Moving on to sector four. Sir, sector four sass readings are off the charts! Whip, 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 whip. <laughs> Sir, we have a class nine sass entity. You better get here quick and bring the rocket launcher. Let's see. The sass people. Fear them. <laughs> yeah. Thump. Bump, bump, bump. Dead statue, dead statue, dead statue, dead statue, dead statue, dead statue. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> All right, because right, boards are mobile. The assassins, clever. He was on his beach holiday. Oh, now I feel bad. Oh no. Well, you know what? He shouldn't have sassed me. <laughs> Nice map, I agree. Oh, did I actually just get the map at the very end? Oh no. Oh, I found my way back up to the surface. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. I love this design. Oh, and you're going sideways so it makes sense. Wait, no, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, well, all of them are going sideways. 
Sometimes you get the magic crystal to show enemies when they're all dead. Yeah. Oh, really? I actually... I don't think I've ever gotten the magic crystal after I've cleared all the enemies. Only when I get the magic crystal after beating all the... I honestly... I haven't had that happen to me yet, which I feel like is kind of... in wild, because... I feel like it would happen more often, yeah. I forget, I think there's no Sphita- No, there isn't. They don't allow Sphita in the golf caves. They're not called the golf caves, by the way. But they don't allow Sphita in the underground- in the underwater caves! No wet Sphita! If you want wet Sphita, you gotta go to do sewer Sphita. Like a like a pedestrian. Remember when I was a kid, I was rushing for geostones and ignore monsters. Oh, I mean, I totally get that. Oh, I totally get that. Geostones are like, yeah, new stuff. Sewer Sphita. Yeah, Sewer Sphita is brutal. Actually, let's not even save. Let's just go home. Do that in Joe. What's the story set up for this area again? We found a cave that had a little dinosaur man named Shingala. Did you try the I did, I did. I actually uh, very inadvisably tried it near the end of the dungeon and it didn't it didn't crash the game. Let's see. Um Hmm. I need to go talk to Cedric. An HL station! The future area here is the Lunatic Laboratory, and they may have a way to travel 10,000 years in the past. Right! Right, that's what you mean! Sorry. Sorry, yeah. We're here because we need to figure out how to travel 10,000 years into the past to face Griffin. <laughs> Alright, repair robot parts, need my help, huh? I'm Uncle Matt. Oh, he does have the samurai arm. Interesting. No, I know. No, no, I wanted to hear about Shingle. Shingala! Shingala's a little dinosaur Lapras man. Well, I say little. He's very big. Emperor Stewie. Yeah. Giant dinosaur boy. And he's injured. He's got a cut on his neck. It's so sad. Like a really deep, angry looking cut. I hated looking at it. And then he ran off after Pal ran away. I ran off to go check on the other uh, Shiguras, I think they're called. And they, um, and so we have to chase down Shingala to make sure he doesn't get hurt more. Ugh. So let's see. I need to get the super core. Ooh. That looks like a very cool core. All right, so Steve, capacity is now 120. Nice. No problem. Attack 100. 60, smash 50. Okay, so we're doing a lot better now. They're not as durable as the original cannon arms, I think. No, they're more. They're more. Never mind. 60, 50. Huh? Wait. Oh, I exchanged them out. 180. That's much better. Do I have any other stuff for Steve? I don't think so. He's got plenty of capacity now. Got a whole 27 capacity. Probably not enough for other stuff, but we can try. We can try putting some stuff on him. The cannon arm will almost certainly work. Oh, I didn't do... Sorry, I didn't notice the stretch. Hold on. I actually... I need to go to the little streamer's room real quick. I'll be right back, you guys.
Logan! Oh god, what is happening? <laughs> Spin! I love the I love the slow ones, the ones that are kind of like like wobbling around in a circle. I love those. With the Vox spin, Spacey spin. Oh, I love all these. They're great. I'll oh, give me one chance. Oh, Lower Rabbit, what's up? I'll have something. I have something to share. I'll give you one chance to guess what it is. You hit. I don't remember the rankings. Myth, my, mythic, legendary. You went up a rank. Did it happen? Dang it! What happened? Oh, I gotta do a stretch routine real quick! Everybody up off your seats! Stretch your fingers up to the ceiling, dig your toes down into the floor! Stretch yourself all around, get yourself all nice and limbered up, twist and turn! Stretch and stretch! Stretch out your arms, head, leg, bones, whatever you've got! All right, once you're nice and limbered up. Oh, go ahead and slowly bend down and touch your toes. Oh. Really feel those calves and hamstrings opening up. It's this. <laughs> How dare you! How dare you! Unbelievable! You actually timed it perfectly. I can't believe you! <laughs> Bwah! You're getting, you're getting no fangy. <laughs> Thanks, Form. How you doing? Um, let's see. Uh, someone clip it for me so I can watch. Ah! Let's see. Um, I hope you had good luck with precariously cleaning some walls, as I saw earlier. And no, unfortunately, I would did not leave to play some wet Sveta, no matter how much I'd love to. Cleaning walls still. Good luck! I went ahead and got me like a quick bite to eat. Hmm. I will take bribes. <gasps> the plot twist. Okay, so. I would really like to get Malayne to be my friend. <gasps> I need to talk to Donnie. I need to talk to Donnie. Oh. Bye, rabbit. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Oh, God. You can't hear me. Bye, rabbit. See you later. I hope. You have a wonderful day, Rabbit. You are a wonderful person and deserve a great day. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to Donnie. Big first scoop. I figured out three more scoops. Woo! We got one new scoop. New you have in you. All right, all right, all right. I'm right about why Melina doesn't think you're sort of strong enough. One more build up should get her to be your friend. Fantastic. Fantastic. We're on our way. Moon crystal. And crystal in the middle of. Oh, okay. Sure. Benicia's evening, evening sun. These are a little more entry. Oh no. Oh no. Wait a minute. I didn't have an opportunity to. Oh no, I missed the flying battleship.
Where you died long ago and finished your rooms around nine after night. What, you scared? It's possible I didn't. It's possible I didn't. It's possible it shows up again. Because it did teleport away. So it's possible it shows up again. But I do remember... I do recall having this, I thought. Before... Okay, we'll see. We'll see. That's fine. We don't have to get all the scoops. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go turn on my... It's okay. It's okay! I'm gonna go ahead and... <clears throat> turn on my... Assassin's Creed real quick. If only you could refight bosses. But yeah, if only. Um, the Freisha Sam was surviving so I didn't get very many. I need to find this golden egg at Jurek Mall, and I don't know how to do it. Let's head to Starlight Temple and get the time is at 12 37 a.m so it's the morning we don't okay uh we're gonna head to uh balance valley balance valley yeah i'll admit um well balance valley remember that starlight temple is always nighttime right is that Bad. I checked the time for the um for the Venetia sunset actually. What Is there a way to go up? Oh, yeah, there is. Hey, what's over here? What is this place? Oh, the tool shop. That's right, I forgot about the tool shop. This has got to be a closer, but he's huge. Moon crystal! Which parfait? That's right, I didn't come back and get the chest that I saw during the cutscene. Hello! Even the Great Crest was once the apprentice of a sage. He must have been an amazing teacher. Well, this is the end of the line for me. The rest is up to you. Go take care of that griffin, you hear? You saved my life. I know if anyone can do the job, it's you guys. I like that. There's our great sage crest. I like crest. <laughs> they really pulled a fast one on me, though, with the whole great sage crest revived thing. That was actually really clever. Hmm. This is future. So the time in the future is always the same. What a what an incredible innovation. You can put that spoil for you if you talk to the director in chapter three, actually. Wait, really? At what point? <laughs> After you've revived is it after you've revived her and you go and you go to Jurak instead? Or when like just like at any point during chapter three? <sighs> Hold on, what time is it? At any point. That's so weird! What? 
All right, we're gonna go to Sindane again. I wanna go to Sindane to see if we can locate the egg. Is it possible to find the egg right now, Expando, or do I need the weapon shop? Okay, so something like talk to Crest the Great says she can help. Oh, <laughs> clever. So wait a minute. Is it predetermined or is it not? Because I'm so confused. Because we hadn't we hadn't set it up so that Oh my god. We had not set it up so that Lynn was the Great Sage Crest yet. So how did he know? Ugh, this game is weird. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, I'm sorry. With the whole predetermined thing, I was thinking about Oracle of Ages. That's the one where I normally have the issues with it. I don't know about this one. I... You can get the golden eggs right now, but it takes knowledge you don't have. Ah. Hmm. Ten trees placed. Okay, so it looks like to get these other ones, I'm going to need to head to the areas I don't have yet. That's my guess. To get the Georamas there. That's my guess, but I don't know if it's actually true. All I know is I don't have these goals. One of them is already fulfilled and I need to restore Elder Jirak's branch, which requires a goal I don't have. So I need to get <clears throat> I need to get Melane and Elder Jirak's branch for the weapon shop. And 50 culture points. I only have 42. Alright, so this is pretty much as good as we're gonna get for now. I excuse me, I think. Fifth, it might be 50 culture points. I can tell you those goals if you want. I know this off the top of my head. What's the one I don't have? It Well, actually, is it 50 culture points? Is it just 50 culture points? No. It wouldn't be 50 because that would... Is it 50 culture points? It is not culture points. Okay. It's strange. All right, I'll leave it. I'll leave it for now since it's knowledge I'm not supposed to have yet. Let's go. Uh, let's not do the egg then. Let's not worry about it. 439. Okay, where do I want to go? I think we'll just continue into the wet dungeon. I kind of want to do a sewer dungeon. I want to do some Sphita today. Let's do a sewer dungeon and try to get a Sphita, a Sphita metal. No, Forest Feeder! Forest Feeder! Let's do Forest Feeder! Using only Monica's sword. Forest Feeder! Force. I'll try to only use Monica. We're at a high, such a high level now, I should be able to do it just fine. This is two worlds back, so... Monica! Hello, man-eating grass. Yep. Or oh, I get it! <laughs> Stomp. Map it. Wait, 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 no, 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 okay, there we go. Man-eating grass? Well, good thing Monica isn't a man. Neither am I. But unfortunately, Max is here. <laughs> I'm kidding. I guess it all depends on yeah i guess it all depends on how you well no because obviously man any bomba 
Obviously, Manny Me is just like man as in human, human training. Um. But no, I don't think. I guess Max doesn't count as a. I guess. I don't know. I guess it all depends on your definition. I mean, obviously, but. Hmm. Don't think about that. I have only killed monsters with Monica's sword, yeah. <gasps> Destruction crystals! Those are good. Stone. Is Palm Brinks. In Palm Brinks, what is the age of majority? That's a good question! That's a good question. What is the age of majority in Palm Brinks? Um. Man. I guess we don't- yeah, I guess we don't have enough, um, world-building knowledge. Oh. Thwack. I really like this, uh, sword. Sword is very cool. <laughs> it looks like it's straight up made out of copper? Copper. Looks like it's straight up, straight up made out of copper, though. Maybe bronze. Maybe it looks more like bronze. Does, um, <clears throat> does bronze patina or does only copper patina? I think Max and Monica are about 15. I don't think there are any developed places that have the age of majority that low. Hmm. Yeah. I believe not. Let's see. Oh my god, me and my brain. I was like, I need experience for other things. I should start using Monica's bracelet or like Steve to kill these things. Like the sword is fine. <laughs> Let's see. Bam. Well, if world building, better go find some more Georama elements than true. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> more world building! Yeah, what are you talking about? This game has plenty of world building. You're doing it constantly. Mm. Also, Forest Vita! No! Oh, wow. That was close. I was making a hot chip. You were making a hot chip. As like in, as in like one of those super, super spicy, super mega Skullville ones. Was it a single chip or was it multiple chip and you're just saying it in a really cute way? Hey, how do I? One Google of Scova, that, that will kill you, almost certainly. That would definitely kill you. Being cute. I mean, it's spicy not to dip. Oh, fine! Sounds delightful. Scovillain! Let's see. Um... Mostly because the salsa I bought was in the Googles. Wait, oh god, really? Jesus. Oh, I wasted some cheese. 
That's not the slash, that's not my slash brands, that's my Sphita stick. There's no way the Sphita stick would work as a slash branch. Don't be silly. Mm. Ah, so you probably mixed it with like some cream cheese, yeah? No, I don't think salsa would work well with cream cheese. It was. Looks like we got Genius it planning. Queen Monica sword wipeout goal. Yay! I can place Fida on this floor. No, 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 not yet. I noticed there weren't any mimics here. <gasps> A power crystal! Oh, that's real nice. I noticed there weren't any mimics here. Okay, so this one's red. Hmm. I, uh, what's the par on this hole? Cause, oh, that's just mean. Three, what do you mean par three? Floor of Rainbow Butterfly Wood. Of course, there's no mimics. What? But I thought mimics showed up everywhere. I thought mimics showed up in the sewers. I'm pretty sure I vividly remember mimics showing up in the sewers. Mix up in later. Oh, gotcha. I didn't realize there was a rule to it. <clears throat> All right, Sweetie Club, come on. Oh boy. Um, this looks like it'll go right through the branches, the right through the trees, but I don't think that's the case. It looks like it's actually gonna hit the wall. I think the collision might be. A little more than they want me to think it is. Visually, I mean. Oh, so it looks like... Hmm. Should I just go for it? It was just a jar of health food store brand hot sauce, but this tastes more like something that would have a label like Ron's insane hot sauce that will totally murder your family on it. Ah, the best kind! Golf. No, it's Fida. <laughs> How you doing, Avio? Hmm. Oh, main problem is if I don't land it dead on center, it's probably gonna veer to the left or the right and then and then bounce off the trees. Whatever. I'm a professional golfist. Oh no. Oh. No. Oh god, that hurts. Bloop. Oh god, that hurts. <laughs> All right, let's try to live for a little bit. Let's try a little bit more. Hold on. No, no, come on. All right, we're going to do it. Welcome to Forest Feet. No, I'm I'm I am sticking to my guns on this one. I'm out of I'm out of chances. There's no way I pull this off otherwise. low. Welcome to Forest Vita! Go! 
gonna be honest, I wish I could just play speed up without having to kill all the monsters. Like, I love digital golf, and this is like the coolest version of digital golf I've ever seen! Natural environments that you're just playing golf in? I love this! Finish wiping the- oh, good job, Borb! Speed is more fun when you earn it or something. Ah! You have to earn your digital golf! I don't want to earn anything! <laughs> I just want to play! I love this golf. I love it. <clears throat> well, but disc golf is a lot different. You're not throwing disc golf through trees. Uh, and bouncing it and like ricocheting it off trees and landing it into the big chunky cage net thing that they use. <sighs> There's always frolf, true. <laughs> or Galf. <laughs> we can always play Galf. Let's see. Um, points to you if you get that reference. <laughs> Big hug, boy. Big hug. Alright. Um, I think we're good on... I think that's a good speed of break. Let's go back to the... <clears throat> Hold on, what time is it? In-game, I mean. <laughs> Big hug. No, I missed it. Mm, spent too much time speeding. Excuse me. All right, we'll hit the Venetian sunset some other time. Venito. That's how you would do it. <clears throat> if that showed up in Italian, right? Abio, you wouldn't go like Venicio! Venicio del Torre! It would just be Venicio? Or would that just never show up? <laughs> Am I trying to make a compare? Venicio! Ha ha! I'm great at this. <clears throat> oh, it's a name! Ah! Well, it's the name of this city, actually. All right, to Ocean's Roar Cave we go. Let me take another bite of my food. What, in, yet in game they pronounce it Venicio? Yeah, that makes sense. with all sorts of names um the um the most common way i hear <clears throat> hold on so there is a character in uh magic the gathering yeah her name is spelled <laughs> Yeah, her name is spelled A-Z-U-S-A. -S now, um, the, she is from a, she is from a world that is heavily based on Japanese folklore and mythology and history too. And the majority of people in the Magic the Gathering community pronounce her name Azusa. And it drives me nuts. <laughs> Kamigawa, yeah. Thank you! What do you mean, real voice? <laughs> okay, enough of that, please. Um... She is pr Um... And now I may be totally off base here, being Azusa is so free. <laughs> it's almost certainly supposed to be pronounced Azusa. Azusa is the, um... Is almost certainly the actual pronunciation of that name but i hear everyone pronounce it azusa and it it's just it's pain 
Now, I may be totally off base here. I may be entirely wrong. They, but that's not how you pronounce Japanese names. Azusa isn't, <laughs> Azusa, is, no, no, that's somebody else. Uh, uh, Azusa is somebody else from Magic the Gathering. Um, <clears throat> oh, wow, it's a good card. But yeah. <laughs> Azusa. <laughs> Where did you get Azusa from? Hold on, hydrate, redeem. Nice and hydrated. Sorry, I had to check something real quick. Um, <clears throat> do I play League? I do not play League, no. I used to play Lore, Legends of Runeterra, the card game. I used to play it a lot. Not as much as Brof did, but, um. <clears throat> uh oh, okay, there we go. I almost said something stuck in my throat. Not as much as Brof did, but I, um, I did, make, I did play quite a bit of Lore. I liked it a lot. Um, I just kind of stopped playing it. You're talking to Lofa Lady. Digital American. Virtual American. I am a 100% completely, absolutely real human girl. That is me. I am a lady. I am a lady person. Wait, Lucille. Woman, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Six minutes, nine seconds. Uh, Lo-fi real. I am. 68 centimeter fish. It's so big. <laughs> um, She's real and you can say hi to her and everything. Blue seal, no big deal. Excuse me. Yeah, that means I can only use <laughs> Max, yeah? <clears throat> anyway. Third floor appears to have a blue seal on it. Monica has been chosen by the blue eyed familia. You can't switch to her. So why doesn't he? I think we've probably said this before. Why doesn't Griffin just go in and put blue, blue and red seals on both floors, on all floors? Oh, <laughs> you're right. Can an LLM be awesome in video games? An LLM. Limited Liability Manager. Wait, is that actually what that stands for? <laughs> well, no, 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 that's LLC. Large Language Model. Oh, but it's AI. Oh, because of AI. Yeah, 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 of course. I am definitely not robot. Or alien. Or monster. Petit fish. Fish car, what happened to your wheels? Where'd they go? Aww. <laughs> I am 100% human girl. Human woman. It is fish car! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be tough. A lot of these enemies are better with Monica. Um. <clears throat> I miss Graffiti Kingdom sometimes. I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes I would like to just get in and go into Graffiti Kingdom and I just haven't I just haven't really sat down and done it. I'd love to go back into Graffiti Kingdom and like make some make some fun little 3D 3D people again. That was a good stream series. I agree. <laughs> Fish car no Car, what happened to you? Fish car, what happened to your wheels? Where'd they go? 
<laughs> Poor fish guy, no! <laughs> now all we need to do is find a pee-pee. I will do some very bad things now. Right! Oh my god, sometimes I forget that's where we got that sound bite from. Oh. Oh! Man, it was hard. Gosh, please. Oh, no, not a beach rat. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered I can use Steve. No, if I lady is 100% not a robot, nor am I initiating laugh.exe. Ha 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 ha. Terminating laugh.exe. See? No total normal human beings. Yep, do your best, Steve. Also, we need to ow, ow. We need to go back to Smack Studio. I keep seeing it in my library and forgetting that we never finished Scrimblow. <laughs> oh, it's him! How's it going, buddy? It's Happy Clown present. Which will it be? Redbox. Very good. No! My first real law. No way! Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. I thought it was potato pies. <laughs> oh, my first real loss. It stings. HCPT? I got clown's potato. I did. What do these even do? Good for dieting? Small round cake made from potato. Oh, I never gave Monica the witch's parfait. Spectrumize. What? Oh, it's fish baits! They're fish baits. Gotcha. I forgot. Have I fish? I have not. I have been told that it would not be advisable by my very good advisor, Expondo. <laughs> uh, because if you would like to take a look at my inventory, I have too much junk. Let's see. Um... But also, friends. I have lots of friends. And I have lots of friends, lots of junk. And I need to pare down on my junk a little bit. Let's see. Although I just realized I did actually do some cleaning out of my inventory a little while ago. How could they not see me coming? How could you not plan for love a lady? <laughs> Good God. Let's see. Okay, so I already had the absorption coin. I I mean, obviously, you could always use more. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Um, you need to get the blue on Lily and travel back in time to tell the devs to give you more... Yeah! I definitely do. Okay.
Is this just heal people? Is the pointy chest not just to heal people? Oh, I almost messed up. I'm just trying to do this floor without healing. But <laughs> look at this little randomly generated section of the map. Look at this little cave. I wish there were more mysterious coins IRL. Like, oh, holy crystals. Like, not currency, just weird coins you could find with no clear origin or purpose to anyone. I mean, um, <clears throat> become an archaeologist. You'll find a lot of that stuff. Well, no, that's you did say no clear origin. <clears throat> but yeah, I agree. Like these really weird power coins. That would be really cool to just find all over the place. And no, I'm actually not making a reference to the power tokens that I use on Retro Saturdays, even though it kind of sounds like it is when I, because I said power coins. Uh, the captains seem rather strong. I'm going to try to use Steve for them. Make them yourself and bury them underground for adventures in the distant field. Yeah! Oh man, that would be so confusing to archaeologists. Bury them in like a large area and create an, an accidental archaeological crime. Yeah, that's the change I should make in the world. Yeah! <clears throat> I mean, if you want to, yeah, absolutely. I, I get you being sincere, sure. That sounds awesome. It doesn't take, like, it's... And it's, um... Yeah. I don't know, it kind of shows... There's something about it that I really like, because... Obviously, I'm. I love reading deep into things where there's nothing deep there, but um, I like the fact that it's Wait, something you'll never you actually. The you'll never actually see the. All monsters defeated. The results of. The entire point of it, is to be something that. That you don't. Interact with in any way. That is uh, that affects people. You will never meet because it'll be Lunastone Peace. What is this? Back people like thousands of years in the future. Fragment of a Lunastone. It still shines brightly. Huh. Strange. Have wars fought over the coin. Have wars fought over the coins because various factions think they have incredible power when used correctly. Yeah! That is a thing though. There's a lady with a kiln and she plans on transcribing internet posts onto clay tablets and throwing them into rivers. Because will probably be the only evidence of what normal people did during this era in a thousand- That's genius! Oh, I love it! <clears throat> That's actually a very smart thing. Or not just smart, but also kind. Because, like, yeah, she's right. <clears throat> in a thousand years, the internet will have changed... ...so drastically, in some way... Whether it's completely gone, or it's in our heads now. Like, we're all plugged into the- we're all plugged into the sh the Shadowverse uh, Matrix. Not Shadowverse. Shadowrun. The Shadowrun style Matrix, not the Matrix style Matrix, but the Shadowrun style Matrix. Can I get a deep fried meme onto a clay tablet? Oh. Uh, it's like the- it's probably like the- the kind of- like the depth of the chisels. Maybe we should just leave those in the past, huh? <laughs> like, maybe we could just leave those off the tablets. Um. Well, she's also very chaotic, so it'll probably all be drilled. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. As it should be. Um. Finish without healing. Oh, a lot of fish. Any stories to tell? No, because I'm trying to i'm trying to cut back hey abstract advocate how you doing 
I'm running out of space, so I'm trying to cut back. <sighs> Love my streams can't be chiseled onto a tablet, though. Yeah, you can just chisel my doofy face onto one. No, just sell the. No, no, I can't. I can't. They're my babies. They're my friends. Um, there are there are a fair number that I've been giving to Fabio to um. to take care of and find good homes because I take this stuff way too seriously and it makes me sad. Lofi will never buy the grill. Never. Fish your friends, not food. No, grill doesn't even exist in this game. Mm -mm. Makes me sick just thinking about it. Just release them while you're still... F release them while I'm still fishing. I can... I can do that? That's what I do, lets them come back bigger late. Wait, it actually does? Wait, for real? My babies! Yeah, that's a good point! All right! The Digiverse real! Yeah! So we'll catch some fish, and then we'll let them go! It's, I mean, it's a bit of a bit of a rough term, but sure. No, no! We gave up Debil. Max health. Max half health. Half, half Max's health. They live in the cave now. They do. They kind of like swim in the shallow water. <laughs> Friends, I'm gonna invade. I'm gonna introduce an invasive species. Yay! Goodbye, baby. So glad it doesn't make a big deal about it. Uh, okay, so goodbye, Nyla babies. All right, so same ones will be safe in the cave to grow as well. I have to, do, I have to when I do my twelve-hour fishing session. It just takes up too much time to sell the fish. Ah, the same ones will be safe in the cave to grow as well. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, I forgot to heal. I was so focused on my fish. Well, I can't kill him with. Hold this. Thanks. Um. How about we just leave? Whenever is this? When is this escape powder ever gonna help us? Otherwise. If I trips and falls in a cave full of shadow water and shallow water and swarms of fish spread out in every direct- No, my babies! <laughs> no! Then they form around me like a mech suit. I'm gonna introduce- I'm gonna invade- I'm gonna introduce an invasive species! Yay! Goodbye, <laughs> baby! Goodbye, baby! Oh, it's so sad! Devious streamer introduces an invasive species and destroys an entire ecosystem. <laughs> I love I love the news articles. <laughs> That's like some of my favorites. You haven't tried the geo I haven't actually. Good point. <laughs> Let's see. Downloading Geostone. Now you can make the part Iron House, Pier, Shop Boat. The condition Luna Lab Foundation restored has been made clear. Condition 8 blocks of Pier parts. Lab 1 restored. Luna Lab Foundation restored. Red Iron House placed. Lab 2 restored. Lab 3 restored. Lab 4 restored. Luna Lab restored. All four labs restored. Fantastic. 
So we're gonna make like houseboats. I'm excited. Iron house. That's not at all what I was expecting. A house made of iron won't burn. Does anybody else find that description extremely ominous? <laughs> Were there food trays spilled on my fish? No! It would only melt, yeah! No houseboats, but there is a shop, but ooh. True. <gasps> Beetle, is that you? <laughs> Let's see. What? Oh my god! I don't see anything the ominous about something not burning. Just like the way they say it is so. Here on beautiful Benny Joe! Benny, 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 Benny Joe! That was Benny, Benny Joe, yeah. Benny Joe! Benito del Torre! Hello, oh. Looks like they would have tried otherwise. Huh? Who are you? This is the world's top research facility, Lunatic Wisdom Laboratory. Or it was! Before that stinky griffin came over and ruined everything! Although this place may not look like much lying out, we should be able to finish our research. What are you talking about? There's nothing here! You have a platform. Hmm. Hmm, good song. I don't have any chobi bony chobi because the bone catch rates are turned up. They're to the annoying they're to the annoying rate. Oh fantastic! Do not go to them! How dare you! You didn't even put the cap of face! Let's see. Alright, let's see if we can make anything. Wait a minute, you didn't put the cap. You didn't put the cap a face. Were you messing with me? Oh no. No, you said it was only like the one. You would have told me ahead of time. Okay, I. No. You would. I trust you. You would have told me ahead of time. Thank you. Viral! Thank you for the omen contribution to the wheel stream! Oh darn. So now I'm able to betray you at a critical moment. I mean, now can I please don't betray me? I can't take it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um. So I need a shop boat. Eight blocks of pier parts. A little lab foundation, which would be this. Alright, so we need to get some more requirements, probably. We could start by placing some pier parts in some houses. So what exactly pier parts? So this, this kind of thing. Place it on the sea to build houses there! Fun! Alright. Hmm. Can I fish? No, I don't even have my my fishing rod. 
The water makes you a bit slower, I noticed. Okay, so... Whoa, this water goes up to my waist! I worked on my bathing show yesterday. Ooh, fun! You, for some reason, run faster with the fishing pole in water. I'm not wielding the fishing pole. I thought I was. Oh! Yeah, the water doesn't change your speed. <laughs> Might work a little bit better with some bait. With some bait. Uh, let's go with the petite fish. You're very beautiful now. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate that. Once I was waiting in the ocean, I think I saw a sea urchin down there, but I didn't want to pick it up, whatever. Oh, yeah, of course. For a number of reasons, huh? Oh, oh. I never noticed you can see the bobber fall. Yeah, for, I think for a number of reasons it's a good idea not to pick up a sea urchin, because I think sea urchins are... They have, like, I think they have, a, like, a, a kind of toxin, like, not, like, a really bad, like, neurotoxin or anything, but they, I think they do have, like... They're pokey, for sure. But I think they can, I think they can, um... Like, numb your hand or something. Maybe I'm just thinking of jellyfish. Or maybe a specific type of sea urchin. They have a little toxin. Yay! That's what I was thinking. Uh oh, gotta be careful. Also, I have received some fishing tips that have told me... I'm just fishing, actually. I have received some fishing tips to hold one single direction, but I don't like doing it that way. It's more boring that way. I like having to like keep an eye on the arrows and, and my tension line and all this stuff. Looks like we got a big one. We gotta name him Forb. You hold the one direction if your strength is less than 30, otherwise you should follow the air. Oh, it's a Ford focus. It's a Forb focus. It was right there. Um, let's see. There he is. It may look like he's half smiley, but he really isn't. Oh, baby. <clears throat> Oh, all the gummies that I was planning on naming. Or possibly naming. Because, see, like, the 47 is big. I want to keep the big gummies. Or, like, a really tiny gummy. Either the big gummies or a really tiny gummy. So we'll keep the 47. We'll remove everybody else. The Haunster. Yeah, baby. His existence is suffering. He is in constant pain. Would you, what would you like to name him? Anything less than 30, you're actually capable of losing a larger fish by just following the arrow. This pretty much applies to anything over 100 centimeters. Oh. See, I've been mostly boosting my... Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and boost strength then. That'll probably make things a little easier. I've been mostly boosting my luck because, and my resilience. Necessary for reeling in the big ones. Oh. Also, see, urchins. Oh, that's what I was going to say. They have a little. They use a little bottom spikes like feet. I feel like that's common knowledge, but I want people to know. I can trust them. I can't trust them. It's too important. Yeah. They're like. Across the bottom. And they have little mouths on the bottom, and they're like. I think they're filter feeders, so I think they, like, eat sand, yeah? And then they, like, filter the little organisms out of the sand and then go, 
and like spit it out or something. Resilience makes the tension bar rise slower with the exit. That's what I was thinking. That's why I put points into resilience. Mm. Strength is how much tension comes from you following the air. Oh! Is it really? I always thought strength was from... I always thought strength was from, uh... Or strength affected how quickly you reel the fish in. Oh! Fly to so far you can cast 99% most likely the length of the fish. Interesting. I thought luck was bigger fish. All right, let's get four in that aquarium. Let's get the other, let's get the other gummy. Oh, I just realized. Sounds right. I feel like some of them are probably scavengers too. Need things that wind up in the sea flame. Yeah. Oh my god, he's so big. <laughs> he's so big. I love him. In honor of our first baby, Forbe. Our first giant or baby. Oh, I should have capitalized it. That's fine. I too late now. Um. All right. Fish parameters. What we got? Yeah, it looks like forty-seven is probably the biggest gummy we got. Yeah, it looks like forty-seven is the biggest gummy we got. So let's go ahead and rename the forty-seven to um. Big Chew. <laughs> Get it? Cause he's it's like the bubblegum. Big Chew. Isn't there a bubblegum called the Big Chew? Who put a balloon in the fish tank? I did. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right. And then we'll go ahead and remove gummy. 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 I want Forb in the fish tank. Forb is great. I love Forb and I want Forb in there. Also, I want Captain Colossal. We need to name this Martin Garion, I think. Um, also there are tiny species of puffer fish you can keep in fish tanks and they're very cute, but you do not want to put them in a tank with other fish you want to keep as pets. Yeah, because can't they, they'll, they'll hurt them because they're poisonous. Yeah. Someone once ran a DC2 fishing emulator, simulator all night. All I could understand from it was that 25 luck helped in the data, but there was no idea why. Huh. Oh, luck is nonsense. We have no idea what it does. No! I thought Xbondo said that it helps catch bigger fish. Oh, man. All right. Well, I put a lot of points. I put a lot of points in luck. So I guess we'll have to. I mean, it definitely feels like it helps me get bigger fish. I prefer fish have beaks and will eat anything their size or small. Oh. We've almost certainly discovered that you need to have 75 or higher flight to catch fish. Oh. Oh. That's fair. My bad. I didn't mean to put you on blast like that. I'm sorry, Expondo. I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to call you out. I'm real sorry about that. I know that that's definitely how it sounded. I'm so sorry. Um. But, um, they even chew up clams and things. Whoa! Lord Poison is metal! The Yeshes remain! <laughs> I love Lord Poison. Let's see. Yeah! 
Yeah! Yeah, we've been trying to figure this all out so we can finally use a FAQ so not old enough to drive. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Let's see. Okay, so... I am finished exchanging FP. Thank you. So, all right. I have way too many, way too many Priscleans. Uh, seaweed. Large Timothy. I'll put large Timothy in the aquarium. Um, Big Chew, I thought I put in there already. Let's put Big Chew back in there because he's big. And, oh, we got to put Mo Monster back in. Monster is like the quintessential. And what about, oh, Softy. Softy's great. All right. So now we've got some rooms, a little bit of room freed up. I want to release the last few Nylers in the cave. Not the Nylers, the uh, gummies. I want to release... Oh my god, I have so many. I want to release these gummies in the cave. Um, so that they can go be big and strong and make people happy and, and motivate people. The issues were basically stonewalled by info that isn't available in-game. Oh, dang. I need to name this Martin Gryan. I haven't decided what I want to name this Martin Gryan yet. Let's check out the fish tank. Oh my god. <laughs> They're all so big. Wait, that's Honster? Wow, Honster looks so small compared to everyone else. He looks so big. He looks huge. And then compared to all my other babies, he's just so tiny. Small haunts. Look at, I love, I love Captain Colossal. Look at him. He looks like, he looks so chubby. It's a pony. Yeah, your reasoning for why you wouldn't put pufferfish in your communal fish tank is actually true for boxfish and cowfish. Oh. Yeah, also, I imagine if there are too many other fish, the, the pufferfish would often be stressed out and that would lead to them inflating. Wait a minute. They don't hurt. Do they hurt themselves when they inflate? I feel like I heard that somewhere recently. I think they hurt themselves when they inflate, don't they? Kind of like a bee. It's a defense mechanism, but one that is... Pufferfish... Or twin inflates? Oh, okay. No, pu pufferfish need to stretch their muscles before puffing up to avoid injuring themselves. Aww. Let's see how big the monster is. I imagine this isn't anywhere, anywhere close to the biggest, uh, the biggest haunts we can get. Monster 70.1 centimeters. What? He doesn't look like it. He looks like he's shorter than Forb is. I guess he does look a little bit longer than Captain Colossal. It's like a hundred. No, no, not even close. I wish. So, uh, yeah, I imagine. Yeah, I imagine. I want to get like a hundred centimeter Nonky. That's my goal. My goal is to get a 100 centimeter Nonky. I now want to get. I want to get a Nonky to rival the gods. That's my that's my fishing goal for the future. I want to get the biggest Nonky. Oh, look at your little teeth. I want to get the biggest Nonky you could possibly get. I want to fill out this fish tank with the biggest boy. Don't? Aw. Or do they not have do they not have 100 centimeter? What's is is 100? Is it the largest Nonky only like 80 or something? Or is it like a, a futile attempt? Is it like really, really difficult? 14 years have been spent on that goal. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Of course, I always do this to myself. I always inadvertently. 171 centimeter, 189. Well, I mean, I. Oh, my God. That's the record. I really only want like a 100 centimeter Nonky. <laughs> I just want to be old boy. Be old boy. Hmm. I thought I had the world record and the OG DC2 player revealed their records. Oh, wow. Boxfish are friendly little bumblebees, but when they get stressed, they release a toxin into the tank that kills everything, including themselves. Oh, no. Why? Oh. Oh, I think I know why. 
Because they're not bred for captivity. Because the idea is that they release the poison and then run away. Yeah? So they won't be in the area anymore. The poison will kill the fish. Probably dissolve into the water over time. Gotcha. Got a Balance Valley Station, Palm Brings Lake, or Furbit Fishing Hole. Oh, okay. Balance Valley Station. Okay, what kind of question do you have? Potato cakes or Mimi? Okay, all right. <laughs> Thanks, Abstract Advocate. Um, I'll try a potato cake then. Let's go to Balance Valley Station. I didn't even know you could fish there. Let's just do like one, one fish for a nonkey. Am I seeing? I actually don't like to, um, I don't like to divulge that information, actually. Hey, yo, I'm yo! <clears throat> Did it take off my fishing rod? Let's see. I'm gonna, uh, I love the water here, but the fish can be hard to see. Yeah. Go ahead and, so can you actually see the fish in the water? I showed Romino to a very hood, co oh, whoa. I didn't know you could do this. Good coded after finding you streamer and it went well. I was scared I was gonna get ridiculed for a sec. Oh no! <laughs> okay, pretty big boy. All right, that's a big boy. All right, we'll go ahead and let him go so that he can grow and get bigger. Go on, baby. Thanks for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. The max I've ever seen on a base rod was around 160. Oh, I didn't want to know any. Wait, base rod? Oh, you mean without any upgrades? Okay. Just make sure not too many, not too many, um, <laughs> accidental, like, um, <clears throat> uh, let slip about uh, make sure not to let slip about any like upgrades to stuff or any like mechanics i don't know about yet or any places or anything like about that the max i've ever seen on a base rod was around 116 centimeter 130 fp so your dream is 100 percent doable heck yeah <laughs> yay let's see let's go ahead and upgrade flight that Ahem, cowfish. Wait, did I miss your message? I think I missed a message that you posted. I'm sorry. Oh no, you didn't. I didn't. Ahem, cowfish also have literal horns, and when fish keepers need to transport them, they have to stick little styrofoam balls on the horn. No, no way. I need to look up a picture. Cowfish horn balls. No, <laughs> look at them. Okay, wait. Do they have the... Do they have a little styrofoam? Uh, cowfish... Orange styrofoam balls. Are they like toxic horns? Oh, I have pickle -y. That's what we believe to be the... Wait, no way! I have two pickle -ies! Wait, really? Yeah! I have two of them! I named them Saxophone and Kazoo! Um, oh, actually, one of them I bred. Um, I bred into one of them. 
I don't remember what I bred. I think it was a Nongi and a Nyler, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Pickly are weird. Huh. I believe I bred a Nongi and a Nyler and got a Pickly. Um... I was just watching some random jellyfish guy on YouTube talk about how he ships his jellies. <gasps> really? I couldn't find a picture of the styrofoam horns. I could probably look, do like a deeper dive later, but I couldn't find anything like on a, with a cursory search, unfortunately. I bred a red, yellow, brown one named Roasted Pickle. <laughs> I love it. Let's see. Um, I believe I made a... Hold on. I did make a special colored fish once. I do not remember who it was. I think... Wait, hold on. I think it was the pickly. I think the pickly turned out to be, like, yellow or something. I don't remember. No, what was it? Was it a green... Oh, it was a green donkey! Citrus! I think it's citrus. Hold on. No, I think that was the Nonky and Nyler. I think that was the Nonky Nyler. Parents with the higher stats will pass on the color. Oh. No, I just named. No, looks like I just named Citrus Citrus. Then it might have been Squemin, because Squim, uh, Squemin was, um. No. Squibbin was squib and lemon. Seaweed? Yep, it was seaweed. <laughs> there he is! I just thought it was the color of the water until I saw another, another Nanki with them. That's seaweed! <laughs> Look at him! He just kind of looks like the the water is changing his color, but the water is not uh, dirty enough for that. It's definitely the fact that he's a green donkey. I love it. Seaweed apparently likes to hang out at the top. Weird. He's pretty small, but he's green, and that makes him cool. I have thought about doing some fish breeding, but... I don't want to breed any of the babies I already named. Sorry, fusing. I don't want to do any fusing with the babies I already named. So it's probably never going to happen. But it would be cool to get some like multicolored fish. Fish fusing. Yes, I'm sorry. Fish fusing. Let's try it one more time. Potato cake. I upgraded my line length. Just a little bit. <sighs> Cheating is basically required for good fish fusing. You can duplicate any fish almost in Oh! <laughs> Whoops. Dang it. Thanks, by the way, Abstract Avocat. I really appreciate your uh, your tip on releasing them into the wild. <laughs> that was really sweet of you. Um, hmm. This might be a while. <laughs> uh, this one is big. This one is really big. Just gotta be careful not to lose it. This might be it. Big. This could be it. This could be what we're looking for. I'll check chat in a minute. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta focus.
Yes! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Huge! 96 centimeter donkey! Oh my god, I mean, I can't. Look at how nice! The donkeyest! On the second cat, yeah! <laughs> Look at the taps, 95 centimeter is my guess. Knee fingers crossed for bigger. Dang! Wow! You are like, <clears throat> that's. It's wild to see a master at work. <laughs> you sure do know your fish. You fish a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 96 centimeters, 107 FP. Wow. It's him. Let's put him in the tank. Let's see what he looks like. Uh, did I already pull citrus out? I did. Okay, so we have space. Let's go check and see. Go check out this new Nanki baby. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh, my, oh my god! I was not ex I, I wasn't expecting that! No! No! Oh my god! Um... <clears throat> I can't imagine what a 171 looks like. I can't imagine. It's like nearly twice that size. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy cow! Look at them! Look at him! He's so big! Is he bigger and wilder than 171? Um, no, not yet, not yet, because I don't want to. I don't want my expectations to be ruined. <laughs> I want to kind of slowly work my way up to the ridiculous sizes. Although I probably won't, hmm, I might not get there. That's a good point. I love him. He's floating around with Captain Colossal. The addiction sets. I mean, I really like this. Let's see. Um, what should we name him? We gonna have to be a speed club, Drew. What about... Big enough to go to school. True. Large. Donkey baby. I got this new donkey baby. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! I was not excited. I wasn't expecting that. No, no. Oh my god. Um. <clears throat> I can't imagine what a 171 looks like. <laughs> like that's he's so big. He's so big. Pet of violet. Have you ever named mine Blonky because it's blue? <gasps> oh, I love it. I love blue. Let's see. What about? Let me see if I like this. The boy! <laughs> the boy! It's the boy! <coughs> it's the boy! <clears throat> the boy! He's here! I kinda like it. Soda for, soda for the boy! Mother, bring me soda! <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, man. I'm gonna say... Yeah. The boy. Oh my god, he's so big. <laughs> he's just so big. He is the biggest thing in the tank, and that's what I love. I love that Nonki, that a Nonki is the biggest thing in the tank. 
If you want, you can duplicate them and use them to make other fish 96 centimeters. After another combination, you'll get a 96 centimeter gummy, which is hilarious. No, I don't want to duplicate the boy. I don't want to do any duplication. Maybe after I, maybe afterwards, after I'm done with the game, you can give me some, uh, you can tell me, tell me about some of the duplication stuff and I can do some of that stuff in my off time, but I don't want to do it on my main run. I hope you understand. Um... Let's see. Ethical streaming. Yeah, I'm trying to do a uh, as glitchless as possible. I'm not really sure why. I just kind of this particular game. I don't really want to. I don't really on my first playthroughs. I don't really like doing lots of like exploits and stuff. I know it would probably need more interesting to watch and more more phony. I thought your fishing lure was the bat. Bat, no! Get away! Oh, God! I kind of want to try for one more. Oh, wait, I'm out of potato cakes, though. We could try a Mimi. Um, I could actually do another level. I want to do a flight level. Thanks for the heads up, by the way, abstract advocate. As glitchless as possible, then why did you go to future when I told you not to? <sighs> I said as glitchless as possible! It was impossible to stop my- the feminine urge to jump into the future! Surely you must understand! Oh, small. Yeah, real small. I think the way you're playing is plenty fun. The way you find the- yeah, the way you find the game exciting! Thank you! Oh, I gotta keep the 35 centimeter baby! <laughs> Look, you don't need to stay around in my tank. You need to get- you need to go and get bigger. Go big and strong, like- like the boy. Or Captain Colossal, even. You don't need to set your expectations too high. Right? I've been playing for 20 years and almost 500 hours just this year and I'm watching the excitement. Yay! <laughs> you guys are great. All right. For a 60 centimeter knocker. Yeah, I do! This helps a lot. This, this overhead view. I didn't even realize I could do this. Oh, a little bit bigger. <laughs> My streams are literally me standing still for an entire day. DC two needs people like you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I am um, notoriously distractible. God, what was that one game I played where I just could not? Oh, I can't remember. There was one game I played where um, we never got anything done because it was basically open world. Whoa! A 77 centimeter tartan! <gasps> Distraction where? <laughs> what if the novelty experience is 500 hours in the <laughs> Impressive, I'm too novelty seeking to enjoy something that much. Yeah, honestly, I'm kind of the same. I have the same problem. Yeah! Wait, really? Oh, fantastic! Well, I gotta keep him. Anything over seven? Oh, gotcha! Oh, I mean, I know I can't keep every 70, 70 or centimeter or greater, baby. Especially since my line length and stuff is getting higher. Be huge in the tail. Let's see. Let's see. All right, let's pull out. Um, let's remove Big Chew. Big Chew's doing good, but let's, um... Big Chew's living his best life, but let's put this new Tarton in there. <sighs> Look at that buffy boy. Look at him. 
She's a monster! 100 centimeter tartan, martin, and bone are all top tier aquarium fish. Ah! Yeah, I imagine. We've only got a 64 centimeter forb. And like, I can't imagine getting like a 100 centimeter. Nice triple sevens. Oh, that is nice! I didn't even notice! And strength is 7 2. Just to tap it all, top it all off. Um. April. <laughs> Remember when you just played bingo for that whole stream, dude? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. We were playing Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness and literally the whole stream outside of, I think there was a couple moments where I went to catch some wild Pokemon just twice, uh, which only took about 15 minutes total, I think. Maybe not even, maybe like 10 minutes. Um, and the rest of the five hour stream was just me playing Pokemon Bingo the whole time. But which is a little, which is quite different from regular Bingo. It, it actually wasn't, it wasn't exactly Bingo. Uh, I spent six months farming daily spawning seeds in D Dragon Quest Eight just to min-max my stats. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a special game that was, oh, that as far as I know was only in Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. How it works is, um, you have to... It's like this wild mini game where you pick a square and there's uh there's all there's any number of things. Yeah, you get it, you get it? April! <laughs> um Um But there uh there is either a Pokemon or like um uh, a qu there's there are Pokemon squares and question mark squares. Pokemon squares have a Pokemon of the listed type on the square underneath it, and that Pokemon can have one move. You start with one Pokemon and basically you have to you have to travel along the squares, catching Pokemon and defeating Pokemon through type matchups. Um, each Pokemon only has one move, so there's only one there's only one move you can use to try to beat these Pokemon. And it gets harder and harder as you go through where they, they have uh, they have boards of different levels and um, they set it up so that it's like quite tricky. If a solid aquarium start, I use mine as my break screen and yours is already there. Oh, yay! <laughs> I love my little aquarium. Yeah, this is one of the GameCube games. Poke Pokemon Bingo was not in the first one. It was in the... This is the second one. Yeah, I get it like the mon- No! <laughs> I know you get it. Like the month, yeah! For anybody who doesn't, though, I know Melody gets it, but for anybody who doesn't, it's actually April O'Neil from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is what I named her after. This is like the super expensive one. Is it really an RPG if it doesn't have at least one mini game or other thing that'll distract you for a large chunk of your- Of course not! No, definitely not. It has to have, like, stuff. I believe they are fairly expensive now, yeah. I actually have a physical copy of the first one. And I had to, uh, <laughs> and the second one is a game I've played. Um, but, um, but yeah, I don't have like, um, I do play the, yeah, I, um, I don't know how to cover this without saying, I use a 100% fully, totally, legitimately, absolutely real P uh, GameCube to play this to play the second one with. Pokemon pushes me closer to emulation once again. Your move, Mr. Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I highly recommend the game. It's pretty cool. It's pretty great. There are some there are some stinkers as far as characters go, but the first uh, Pokemon Coliseum was pretty great. Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, I feel, has expanded on it in such a way that it it's just way better. In a lot of cases, in others, uh, in some other places, it's still kind of grating. Um, for anybody who watched the whole Phoenix City thing was too much. <laughs> like, I couldn't. Uh, I'm not sure about that one, but... Um, and the, um, and Dr. Kamenko is just not even a character. 
And you definitely have a physical legitimate copy of this. Of course. Although I, yeah, I have a, I have an actual physical copy of the first one and I have a 100% fully legitimately, totally, absolutely real copy of the second one. Do I play slots? I don't, I don't, um, I don't gamble. Well, that's not true. I don't gamble with real money and there's not, there are not a lot of games that have just like a slot machine where you can gamble with the like in-game currency. So I don't really do slots and they're just luck based. I, they're not, they're not all that fun really. I prefer gambling where it at least feels like you've got, you skill based. Hold on, did I get a new Nongi that I didn't release? No, I didn't. Fishing in DC2 is my gambling. Yeah! I just watched a video about people shiny hunting the costumes. Wait, is this the one where you can wear costumes? Not from what I... Not yet. Maybe later, but not yet. Oh, that'd be exciting. If that's the case, I'll try not to get my hopes up. Um... But if that's the case, that'll be really cool. Looks big. That's the Wii one. Oh, yeah! A battle, uh, ba not Battle Frontier. Um, battle. Oh! I forget the name. Hold on, I know the name. Artificer Joni! Thank you so much for the raid! How are you doing today? Hope you enjoy watching us fish for a little while. I'm just kind of getting the fishing out of my system before we head back into the into the wet cave. <laughs> Greetings! How are you doing today? What were you streaming? Get waded. I got waded! <laughs> Viral! <laughs> I should have known. That's me. Oh! Um, I do not know. 69 centimeter donkey. <laughs> Look at them. But how are you doing? That's crispy for ADP. Nice. Uh, we played Spirit Fairer. That's actually, I've actually got that game on my list. I want to play it someday. Quite comfy game with us, any people. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I've heard that it's very emotional and very comfortable, very comfy. Speaking of comfy, <laughs> comfy, <laughs> it's me. See, indeed. It's the new follower. <laughs> Thank you, Artificer Joni, for the follow. Hope you enjoy sticking around for a little while. Um, <clears throat> noise. <laughs> Get waited. Oh, I like the like rainbow spray, the boom flame. Boom! I love it. I didn't take the time to... <clears throat> I was a little... Sorry, the, the fishing can take quite a lot of concentration. I didn't quite look at all of you guys' messages. Greetings! Yeah, I am... Um, um, I was planning on playing it for... Um, I was actually planning on playing it for uh, Spooktober. Um, we might do it this Spooktober, actually. Just a little bit of a possible spoiler. <laughs> I had a lot of games I wanted to play this Spooktober. October is my birthday month, so um, I play, um, I have like this big, all month, I, I just, I've decided to do this thing all month actually, where um, we do this special celebratory month where we play a bunch of spooky games and stuff. It went over really well last year, I'm actually really looking forward to it this year too. Fishing is so relaxing. I'll actually do the... I find the... The overhead view to be a little less relaxing. Oh. Oh, this is easy. This is a small baby. It's probably still a Nonky. Might be like a gummy or something. Could also be like a small Lemgler. Not Lemgler. Lemgler's the name I came up with. Donkey! Oh, it's a baby donkey. <laughs> a month full of ghosts and or goblins. I'll be back in the pending to do some post stream. Oh, of course, of course. I totally get that. This is Gila, Tartan, and Nonkey. Oh, Gila. Oh, well, we gotta find a Gila. I don't know what a Gila is. 
Oh, that's softy. Okay. Alright, so release. I'm assuming... Well, I plan on really... Actually, I just want to... I realize both of these babies need to be released. The 69 centimeter is great, but uh, not not as big as some of other our others. And I don't want to... I don't want to... Again, I don't want to run out of too much inf uh, space. Have fun, you guys! Grow big and strong! Hang out with your families! If you have one, if you have them, technically the best place to hunt them, but that's a personal preference. Gotcha! Space is a serious concern. It is, actually. It's a very serious concern. I plan on... Uh, we're actually getting... Uh, we're actually not as bad as we look. Because I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna release all these gummies into the cave as a, as a horde of invasive species. <laughs> We're gonna release them all in the water caves, and they're gonna be just fine. They're gonna go and breed and be merry and happy, and it'll be filled with gummy little gummy babies. <coughs> Before you know it, let's see. Lufa! I love these names. Um, honestly, though, one of my- I think my favorite name so far is Voodoo for- for the Nihiler. And they all serve you and will help you in combat. Yeah! <laughs> I love- I love this fish lore we've come up with. They're just gonna love that brackish cave water. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure they'll love it. They'll get used to it and they'll evolve into a whole new species. What do you think? Should I release them here? There aren't any gummies here, though. This is also brackish cave water. That's right, Eevee. Wait, what are Gila's like? I'm guessing Gila's don't like Mimi's. What about Eevee's? Let's try an Eevee. I got stuck. Okay, that's fine. So, so see, I've never really like gone fishing outside of one time when I was very young and I never caught a fish, not even close. And it was for like a very short period of time. Um, so is that really a thing you do in fishing? Oh, 40 centimeter tartan. Is that really a thing you do when fishing is setting the hook? Like when, when you feel a nibble, you go whoop and you like yank it. Is that like a thing you do? Yep. Huh. Okay. Oh, I'm guessing it's to like, Get the hook in the mouth. Wait. Ah, uh, gotcha. Remember being taken on a fishing boat in middle school and not understanding anything? My mind probably went into space, probably. Yeah. Let's see. Um... Oh, sorry, I got a little distracted. Um, the tartan. Didn't I catch another fish? I thought I got another fish before that. I, uh... Hmm. Well, this tartan is fine. Go, baby! Be gone! Have free! If I don't fish anymore, one was played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've heard about those. <laughs> I've heard about that. Yeah, I'm out of a fish river. Yes, they are. I've I've heard about that happening. Uh, that's why I don't fish in real life. But I'll fish in video games where it's a lot more sanitized and friendly for your loafer. Now I fish in video games and release the small ones. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Did you actually say where, um... Did you actually drop a... Drop a bait... A bait preference for Gila's? 
Let's try a back ton then. It's really funny because like It's like the longer you, the farther you cast, the longer your fish. But you could probably cast it at like an angle away from you towards the shore. So it's like really close to the shore, like comparatively. But not to you. <laughs> so it's like, why are the big fish just always away from me? I guess that's the idea, huh? Is they, they hear you, and so they're like, no, and they get away from you. A 52 centimeter tartan! Not bad. I don't think I've ever looked at Helip. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, baby. Enjoy your life. There we go. So, all right, we got a decent amount of space. Okay, so I think we've had it. I think we've had it long enough. I think we've had. It. Let's try one more. Let's try a Minon. Mimi is best for Donkey and Hila. Fantastic. Let's go flight then. Whoop. <laughs> Looks pretty small, but it might just be a small Gila. Record is 61 centimeters. Oh, nope, it's a tartan. Wow, that's a small fish. They call it the 171 centimeter nonkey. Wow. Okay, that's a small fish then. Alright, be free. Goodbye, baby. Let's see. Um oh, that makes me feel way better than selling them to Fabio. <laughs> oh, what a solution. Okay. Feeling a little less of that fish-based angst now. Okay. I think we've had an- I think healer are cooler looking than Gummy, if you ask me. God, I really want to catch one. Alright, we'll try one more. And then I think we'll call it- we'll call- we'll call a break on fishing. Because we've been fishing for- we've been taking a pretty long fishing break, so I think we need to- I kind of want to go and do some caving again. Just one more, just one more call. No, board, please. No. Oh, why do I keep saying call it? It's just the way I talk. Catch one without leaving, honestly. I'm working on fish. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Oh, this is a small fish. <laughs> There's no way this is a nonkey. I don't think I've ever seen a nonkey be this be this easy. <sighs> Aww, it's the tiniest tartan you've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god, do they have um? Huh? Do they have a? Do, is there a minimum record? I feel like that one would be pretty fun too. I feel like a minimum record would be uh, would be really competitive. Yeah, you don't seem to have Gila spawning. Meh. Boom, baby. That was close to it. <gasps> fine. So there is a minimum record. Oh, fine. Oh, 
<sighs> if I get a if I get a minimum record beating, what's the minimum record for Tarton? There's sadly even less people catching minimum records. Yeah, I imagine. These fish have spawns based on time of day? Oh, that's a good question. They might. Oh, speaking of, dang it, I've been needing to get that sunset. I race a I race a, a an 18.6 centimeter Martin Garion. That's small. <laughs> Record for the most baby fish. <laughs> Some do, Gila don't, I think. All right, well then let's, let's burn through the rest of our memes. And if we don't get any, um, that'll free us up an inventory space. So if we don't get, um, if we don't get a Gila by the time we're done with our memes, um, we'll head back into the caves. And then we can release some of the gummies there to live a happy, fulfilling, brackish cave life. <laughs> Tiny. Yeah! Four centimeter Gila! Whoa! Look at how pretty you are! Look, the strong swimmer is doing the breaststroke! There's some tiny humma humma. Oh! Don't tempt me! <laughs> oh, <boo. laughs> <laughs> hey boy. Hey the boy. Forgot how big you are. Good god. I'll go ahead and take Captain Colossal out of the tank for now. I did! I did! No, I, I left and came back. I left and came back. So, um... So yeah, it's almost certainly seated then. This game. Yeah, that's wild. First fish after I left and came back, by the way. That's that's weird. So you might be onto something with your fish seeds. Here I go studying seeds again. <laughs> Aww. Aww, they're so cute. What bizarre fin mechanics. Do fish I don't think I've are there fish that do that? That actually like pa pedal paddle themselves through the water with like big fins? I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> no worries, Borb. See you soon. I'm mobile. Big fin energy. Yeah. Kayak. I like that because of the oars. I like the I like kayak as a name. That's a really good one. All right, all right, Gila. From now on, you are a kayak. That's our first Gila. And from now on, if we get like a super big Gila, we will keep it. Oh, that's a great new thank you. <laughs> This is the best fit for on Mobile with microtransactions! Rabbits! What's up? <laughs> you better, you better turn off that, you better turn off that no here in symbol. You better turn it off. You better, you better turn it off. You better be able to hear me. You better be able to hear me. You're, you're pretending. You're pretending. I know you are. I know you're pretending. You can hear me, I know it. I know you can hear me. Yes! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm like, you're not gonna get me this time. My naive creativity has been burned from my body. Thanks to you always messing with me. <laughs> Great size, 256 is my PB. Oh! Nice! Wait, 
56 is... Oh, yeah, 44.9. Yeah, that's a good-sized Nonky then. Or, uh... Uh... Hewa then. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> Guy, he's so big! <laughs> he's so big. <laughs> Why is he so big? Hi, Yuna! How you doing, Yuna? Are you having a good day? Look at our boy! <clears throat> no one clipped the- Oh, I guess they didn't! I'm sorry. I have a nonkey with two million power! Was there a plot to this fishing game? I don't think so. I think we just fish. <laughs> Yuna, if you'd like to see an example of what, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm all right. Good. That's good to hear. Um, if you'd like to see an example of what a normal size Nanki looks like, I'm going to go ahead and remove kayak from the tank. I'm going to go ahead and drop him. I think the best one would be citrus. <laughs> there you go! <laughs> that's, that's that's for comparison! That's what a normal sized Nanki looks like! <laughs> Look at him go! Look at her go! That's citrus, and this is the boy! 96.7 centimeters. I'm so proud of me! I must leave the construction company and shame the boy! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> That's a- you're- so the whole 2 million power thing, this- this is a reference to those awful mobile ad- game ads, right? Who's paying the bill? Well, I don't need to pay the bill for I have Two million, but like it's it's like way way worsely voiced. Like I I have two million power in my game, but what about your game? You cannot marry my daughter and pay the bill unless you have four billion power. But father, I have eighty billion power. I have enough power for both of us. No, no daughter of mine will marry a sixty thousand power peasant. Have a great rest of your weekend, everyone. I'm gonna go eat. I'll be checking them clips later for more monsters and boys. <laughs> Thanks, Abstract Advocat. See you later. Enjoy your dinner. Or your eat. Enjoy your eat. Game is this? I'd like to look into. Uh. Well, of course, this game is called um um Conquest of Power King Champion Taoist Idol. Elemental Servant Masteries RPG <laughs> Mobile He's <laughs> so big! I love him! Ants with ants with ants? Why would he have ants? All right, all right, sure. RPG mobile with ants. I just can't figure out this puzzle. The puzzle two plus two equals yeah. Gah! Those are so awful. All right, all right. Now back to the story. And like, it's just so, it's so frustrating with like the, the, the mobile ads that everybody knows about. The ones with the games where you pass through the gates and you like double your men and then triple your men and then plus eight your men and then quadruple your men. But there's always that minus four billion barrier and it's like, but what if I go to this one? And they do and it ruins everything. And you're like, why did you pick it? And they're like, oh, uh, oh, uh, like 50 feet back. They're like trying to decide and they're like, oh, okay. And then they go over to the barrier and they just like walk right into it. It wasn't even an accident. The story, the story of the fish. Yeah. Let's go get some bombs while we're here. Some bomba. Magic bomba. Huh. <clears throat> 
Matthew Clutterbomba! Can you do better? Oh! No, I can't. And I will admit it freely because it's not, that's not what the game is. You won't let me play this game. I can't do better because it doesn't exist. Opens the door to my house instantly. Dilute day dies in a deluge of released lava and jewels. <laughs> what even? Honestly, I think one of the best, one of the best mobile ads I've ever seen was uh, an AFK Arena ad where like, I kind of ruined it just by saying that, but um, ba basically um, it starts with like, like this like music, it's like romantic, somber music and this guy is separated from this girl and they're like constantly thinking about each other and then one day they finally, they finally meet back up in their apartment and they get close and it looks like they're gonna kiss and then oh, they look at the camera and it's like, and then they like pull out their phones and it's like, AFK Arena and I'm like, whoa! <laughs> What happened? <laughs> Let's play AFK Arena! And then it just goes into an ad for the game. I was like, uh... You fool, this isn't the game you saw. In fact, this is a gotcha game. Exactly. I thought I was watching like a weird, like an ad for, I don't know. Based on the past, Campbell's Soup, maybe? Um, God, I wish I could find that ad again. There was an amazing Campbell's Soup ad. Uh, I believe they were, I think they might have been raising money for, for, um, unhoused youths. AFK Arena Valentine's Day edition! Yeah, probably. Um, it was a, it was a beautiful, it was a, I saw it on a compilation of, like, really I extreme ads that shocked people. But what it was is there was a, it was a girl who, um, who was dressed, I think she was dressed in really tattered clothing, and she was, basically like looked through a window and there was like a dress there was this beautiful dress and it cuts to her like kind of she like floats into the dress and like she she um no loaf i'm not mythic yet oh that's right that was my guess she floats into the dress and basically like dances and then um and and like it cuts it shows all these like beautiful scenes of her being like with a with a, a home and like a family who cares about her and then it cuts back to her being on a bench like cold and it's like you can help you can help and i'm just like i'm at the end i'm, I'm bawling i'm like what is this uh, and i want to see it i can't find it again i've never been able to find it again it's it's driving me nuts because i've like, no matter how hard I look, I cannot find that ad anymore. And I would love to watch it again, because it's it's beautiful. Like, the, the animation and everything is gorgeous. And it tells such a wonderful story. And it's an ad for Campbell's Soup. Let's see. Um, all right, where were we going? Uh, we need to head back to Benito. No, you're not mythic yet, I I understand. I'm a simple man. My favorite is long, long man. I do <laughs> recall <laughs> you guys uh, I was introduced, not not you guys specifically. I think it may have been a different group of people. Uh, I believe I was introduced to long, long man during, oh, I fell. During um one of the, I think it was one of the RuneScape streams, if I remember correctly. Uh, Brof was skilling. I was, um, and uh, somebody mentioned it. I was like, I've never seen it. And they're like, look it up. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So I look it up and we watched the whole series. We watched like all four of the long, long man ads. A lot of people are unhappy with matchmaking right now. People are saying their, where, their win rate is falling down more, far more this season with bad teammates and such. I've also experienced lower win, win rate. Hmm. There may be something to it then. You were looking on this. <gasps> <coughs> Fine. I choked on my own saliva. <laughs> All right. I just inhaled too fast because I got excited. Yeah, there were some really weird ones. Am I? I am. I'm doing just fine. Just a little bit of, <coughs> just a little bit of something in my throat. I don't really have anything to say during those RuneScape streams, so I just did. Oh yeah, no, not a, yeah, totally understandable. They, they were kind of, uh, 
Oh, like a lot. Oh, oh. <coughs> a lot of the lo-fi bro-fi streams were um, didn't have a lot of like chat interaction because it was there was so much between me and bro. I feel I feel that was the case, but um, but also because it was just like you could just sit back and listen to us banter with each other. It was kind of like watching a YouTube video. They were fun, yeah. Yeah, we uh, we would honestly um, we were considering doing the, the the last game in the We Were Here saga, but after the end of the that one we played before. But also, I like ha I have like only two RuneScape jokes. Hmm. <laughs> Um, I can't think of any. Well, I mean, not any that like would work in the context of us two playing together. Some of the teams are just doing things so badly. There's one here that will attach onto you. One hero that will attach onto you, and if your allies attack that hero, went on you, the damage goes to you. I told team multiple times after dying to my teammates from this multiple times to stop hitting glue. That's yeah. <gasps> Kim can nuggets. Delicious. 46 centimeters? That's easy. We can break that record in half. Maybe. I don't have abstract advocates. Masterful guidance. But maybe we can do it. <laughs> okay. Alright, babies. I'll leave it up to you. Time to go make your home in the delightful caves! See you guys later! Be free! I just hurl a big ball of gummies into the air and they just go <laughs> Oh, seven! Well, they're not dying. Huh. Nor is it nighttime. Well, actually, I think it is nighttime. Well, it's morning. <laughs> they shall be free! Goodbye, babies! All right. Now we've got a little bit more inventory space and we've ruined the ecosystem. That's a win-win if, if I've ever seen one. Why does he move so slowly sometimes? I guess because of the water. It's probably because of the water. <laughs> Beach rat dead. Dead. All right. Power. What? Wait. A power crystal just hanging out in a rock? No way. No way! <laughs> Come by. Alright, sure. <laughs> Alright, uh... I have 12... Wait, 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 wait. I've been getting levels? Yeah, I've been apparently been getting levels on my equipment. I didn't realize it. Okay, um, chill. Let's do like four chill. That was a high level rock. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Want to hear an X Men event that actually happened? Yes, I would love to. Here we go. Should I bother with the power crystal on the hammer? Or should I go with... Should I put that onto something... Mm. It's really close to being ready. And I would love... It's plus five. It's going to take it a while to get another level, I think. Let's go for it. I'm going to do double power crystal. We're going to go hammer line, baby. Ba -da 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 hammer line. Not quite. Well, I'm glad I did that then, because I don't think we were going to get very much bon- Oh? Oh, this guy. Okay. 
I feel like I should have sold that already. Hammering it in! It's an, in an alternate universe, Nightcrawler hunts down evil mutants. One of them, Blob, killed his wife, so he teleported a shark and... Oh, God. God, why... Dang it! Fit Smuff! Rabbit! God, it's such a... It's such a roulette with you! Ah, God! Oh, man! Oh. Jesus! I wasn't expecting that! <laughs> Thanks, Rabbit! Oh, uh, God! Fun fact, Rabbit's fact was not fun! <laughs> Jesus! Well, I guess they never said it was gonna be a fun fact. They said an X-Men event that happened. <laughs> I have heard of Blob. Blob showed up in the uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Which I liked. I thought it was an okay movie. Bet if I watched it today, it would probably just be an okay movie. <laughs> I got back with that. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Hey, Artificer Jody! <laughs> How's it going? Oh, uh, How'd everything go? X-Men Origins Wolverine, a cinematic masterpiece. Yeah, it's, uh, it's something. Is it that happened in the Batman series that is sad, but shows Batman's... Oh, In the Batman series, are you talking about the, um... The girl, the, um, I don't remember her name. The one who's, pa I think her powers were killing her. I'm refreshed. Yay! Yeah. That's the classic metric. Brof likes to say that all the time. Um, I, I feel, I think he got it from somewhere. I'm pretty sure he got it from somewhere. Is that if you can't, um, if you can't picture your Batman, like, if you're, like, in response to people writing Batman, if you can't picture your Batman sitting down and comforting a crying child, or a, a dying child, then you didn't write Batman. You just wrote Punisher in a silly hat. And I believe that came from a a big. I think that's actually Justice League Unlimited. Oh, it is. Oh, gotcha. I'm trying to visualize the comic. I'm imagining they don't show any of it. You see, you just see a panel depicting a very round shark. <laughs> oh, okay. Now it's funnier. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, hold on. Was I going to do some fishing? A Zamtrios. Uh, Zamtrios. Does that sound familiar? Kevin is a wholesome person. He always tries to do what's best. He just damages the person himself and tries to make sure no one ends up. I like that version of Batman. I like that version of Batman a lot. Zam oh, gotcha. Yeah, Monster Hunter! Zamtrios. That's the... Is that the one with the fin? No. No. See, I've never... I've played very little actual Monster Hunter, but I've played Monster Hunter stories. It is! It's the shark guy! Yeah! Yeah! It's Zamtrios. It's the shark guy! <laughs> Literally the whole reason why you started training. Ah, oh, I see. Jeez. I wonder if Max would do better against the water elements. It can become round? No. It can? No actual way. I need to see Whoops. round Sam Trios right now. Oh yeah, that's the first whoops of the stream. Maybe I'm getting better at controlling the... Round Zamtrius. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, yes. There's so many good, there's so many good pictures. Hold on. Zamtrios round. And this is kind of, hold on, what's like an original Zamtrios? What's a good, like, 
Oh, this is actually this is actually a good picture of both. Okay, I gotta show you guys this. This is amazing. All right, all right, all right. Zamtrios. So this is a this is a Zamtrios in his round form. <laughs> Inflate. <laughs> That's an old, that's a much older, older style. For Monster Hunter Ultimate 4. This is... Uh, and this is, I believe, this is probably the Monster Hunter Rise version. Oh! Tiger Stripes Amphrius. <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> Look at how smug he is. He's like, you're never going to be this round. Look at me. I'm incredible. Look at my size. Look at my body. You wish you were me. <laughs> you wish you looked this great. And then, of course, an absolutely incredible, <clears throat> an absolutely incredible fan art I saw. Samtros isn't in Rise, but the small oh, the smaller Zamites are. Interesting. We uh, <coughs> which one is is Tiger Stripe Zam Zamtros from World then, or is this a new one that hasn't come out yet? Um, cute Zamtros, and then this final little bit of fan art, which I honestly kind of died over a little bit because it's super adorable. <laughs> <laughs> um big shout out to i think it's from from daily sphere yeah this is a this is a post from daily sphere on twitter sphere <laughs> maybe from generations ah maybe i love these i love these so much she was like, oh, are you mommy? Yeah, round friends. God, I love them. OK, let me get those underneath my emo wall real quick. I need to get these positioned correctly. All right, then we can cut those out. <laughs> yes, I just thought that was really cute because I do remember Sam Tree. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I think I do remember, I believe. I believe I do remember in Monster Hunter Stories 2, I think the Zamtrius can inflate. I don't think the Zamtrius can inflate in the first one. I think it, I don't, I think I remember it because I think, I don't think they have monster, they didn't have monster parts in the first one, I believe. And in the second one, I think they can, they can inflate. Kind of like, there's like this thing called a, like a Pula Pula or something. It has like an inflatable furry neck collar. It's like a giant bat. It's white. Um, I think that I think that one first showed up in Monster Hunter Stories 2 as well. I'm just going to be perfectly honest. Monster Hunter Stories, Monster Hunter Stories is a fantastic series. I just wish they would get rid of the cat. Like um the I love like the palicos and stuff in Monster Hunters, <clears throat> in Monster Hunter. The little the little animals are great, but the little the little cat friend that you have in Monster Hunter Stories is uh, he's like he's like really bad comic relief and that should that should tell you everything you know he's like he's basically the epitome of really bad comic relief so i just he's so obnoxious all the time <laughs> he constantly like he's there to make sure you don't get lost i guess and um so he's constantly stating the obvious and making big exaggerated movements and jokes and stuff. Mimic! But I think the series would actually benefit really heavily from just not having him in it. But that's my Monster Hunter Stories hot take. I think the games are fantastic. I think the, the mechanics are really, really cool. It turns Monster Hunter into a turn-based game, if you guys have ever played it. It's a turn-based, basically monster collection game you actually collect you actually collect the monsters and have them on a team they call them monsties 
uh, because it's like a it's a portmanteau of monster and buddy. I think it is. <laughs> I think it's a portmanteau of monster and buddy, and they call them monsties. And you can have monsties on your team. Bestie, oh bestie, gotcha. It's been a while since I played the first one, and they don't really explain anything in the second one. They kind of assume that you've played the first one, from what I, from what I can tell. <clears throat> I can't really use my 3DS anymore, so I can't. Whoop. So I can't really play the first one very easily. But I believe they're remaking the first one for the Switch, which um is pretty cool. I'm glad. I'm actually glad they're doing that, so that people can. Whoa. Get more access to it. Mm. <laughs> I'm running low on powder. There's the dungeon map! Or the map. Uh, just map. And there's the crystal? No. Scraps of metal. This place is huge. You can't get like a whole view of the place. Some just hunter crystals. Unknown bone! It's been a while since we found some unknown bones. I'd forgotten what they were called. Come here! Ah, I can't really hurt the fin tall with my gun. Stop rolling! I didn't realize the fin tolls could roll for that long. I still have Eric on my team, which means that he has not been F. He has not been getting his stuff back. F. Uh, Rip Max. Am I actually going to beat every creature, every monster before I find the magic stone? These guys are really hard to beat with. With Monica. <laughs> Yay! Sword level up. All right, I'm going to. There's some repair powder. I'm going to check out the sword and see what we can build on it. Sixteen. We need cyclone and exorcism. Okay, so let's do the two holy crystals for now. Because those are the only two we have. Ravak plus five. We do still need attack though, so we're not even we're not actually even there yet on the Alright, so exorcism's not ready. Let's go like five cyclones. Bling. All right, we'll do four more cyclones then. We might as well just go all in. I have so many scale crystals. Um. Finally, okay, we're done with cyclone. Probably around ninety. Okay, so we're done with Cyclone, we just need to get some more Holy Crystals for Exorcism, and we need to get some attack up for this thing. Alright, so now for... I want Chill, Cyclone, and Exorcism for this thing. Let's do... 
Do like three chill, all three chills. Um. <clears throat> so chill cyclone and exorcism is a little unfortunate because we've putting been putting most of putting all of those into the sword, which means we actually have overlap. But at the same time, I don't really want to just do a flame gauntlet. I want one that's all sorts of stuff. So. I think this will be good. So what does Max's gun mean, I wonder? Uh. Oh boy. I do not think I was going Flame Smash Cyclone. I feel like I was going for Beast. That's too close. Yeah, I... Yeah. Unless maybe I was? too far away on this. I think I was going beast. Okay. I thought he needs Swiss rolls. Uh. Hey, boy. Hello. Hi. Hi, hello. Um. Well. You know what? No, I'm just going to be I'm just going to be honest. Um. <clears throat> If it's the small one, I've actually never had like a large Swiss roll. If it's like the small, like little snack cake type Swiss rolls, I just do I unroll? I eat them whole. Well, I don't eat them whole. I I, I like <clears throat> I like bite into half. They're like too big for that. I bite into half of it. Or I like nip. I I like I like bite down the length of it. I go like. <laughs> I eat them long ways, I guess. But I don't unroll them. No, but that's the whole point. Why would you unroll them? The whole point is that they're rolled up and they have the cream in the middle. What do you mean, you monster? <laughs> what do you mean, you monster? The baker did such a good job of rolling the... Oh! It's chill now! Swiss by the foot! <laughs> cool! I have ice magic now! You need lengthways? Do you eat your hot dogs from the side as well? Which side? No, I eat my hot dogs lengthwise! It's really cumbersome to eat them from the side. What? Like, phenomenally too come Here, hold this. Phenomenally cumbersome. Thank you. Oh, I see. You misunderstand. <laughs> yeah. Wh wait, did you think that I meant that I... Oh, did you think that I meant that I like hold it lengthwise and eat it like a hamburger and just go like I'm gonna get that, or like a corn on the cob? <laughs> like, no, no, because I again, like I said, I don't know. That's not what I meant. I bet that you were eating the bun off the hot dog like a corn cob. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean lengthwise is in like. Oh, I don't. I guess with but. I just can't... Uh... How do you even describe eating this way? <laughs> I can't even... Hold on. I... I eat them like you would a Twizzler? I got you. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> you just kind of stick it in your mouth. And you eat it. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> like a popsicle! There we go, like a popsicle. But it's a bread product that you don't, like, that you just eat. There we go. Long ways! That's what I meant by lengthways. But I can understand the confusion. I can understand the misunderstanding. Hmm. No, no, no. I would never, I would never eat a Swiss roll. I would never eat a Swiss roll from the side like that. Or would, be the, would that be the uh, the front? The outside? How would you describe that part of the Swiss roll? How many licks does it take to get the center of a hamburger? <laughs> Far too many. I might now. Honestly, yeah, I'm kind of tempted to give this a shot. <laughs> Rabbits made me curious. I'm actually a little- I'm actually a little bit curious in trying that out for myself now. What? You're welcome. Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. I just don't have any on hand right now. Oh. I just don't have any on hand right now. What can I say except you're welcome? Yeah, I mean, it's not its not that bad. It's just, I mean, it all... Like, you hear this, you hear it all the time, and you know, it goes to the same place. It's all about what you, how you enjoy eating something. Hey, yo, up, yo! Really, eating all comes down to... It's, ne it's necessary. One, it's necessary. Two... As long as, like, the plating and way direction you eat your food in doesn't actually affect the nutritional value of it. And three... <laughs> moderation, I guess? Can't really think of a third thing, but everything works well in threes, so you have to do threes. <laughs> Here, I'm tired of waiting for you to just decide whether or not you want to kill me. Jeez. I'm hired for tomorrow. Hopefully I can be there. Hopefully, yeah! I'm not sure yet how long it's gonna be, but I'm definitely going to do my best to... Darn it! I'm definitely gonna do my best to get, uh, get in as early as possible. Oh, right. I don't wanna- I don't wanna wait. Poison is so common, I don't wanna waste my, uh... Wait. Oh, my poison am amulet broke. I need to go get another one. Poison is so common, I don't want to waste poison on, on, um, Mighty Healing. So I'm just, the, I can keep one slot dedicated to a, uh, I can keep one slot dedicated to a specific, uh, type curing thing, and I'll do, I'll choose to do antidotes. For one reason and one reason, well, actually, for one major reason is that you find them everywhere, so... We'll basically end up having a slot dedicated to it regardless. I was listening to a podcast one of the hosts was talking about a guy he knows who never drinks anything while he eats because he thinks that's disgusting and turns your stomach. So I actually did was told once that um uh, a way for dealing with harp. Hi, right, day 69, 6:56 p.m. That's sunset. Could we possibly get the sunset? Hold on. Is it sunsetting? Like, buddy, what do you think happens when you eat soup? True. I was actually told that um. No, Max is dead! No! Oh, foiled by my own petard. Let's see. Um, I was told that uh, one good way for dealing with heartburn is to um, is to not drink while you eat. What? <laughs> Day 69? Well, yeah. Let's see. Um. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, he's raging. Let's see. Um... The number in and of itself is the joke. Okay. <laughs> um, 
Oh, he's just gonna stand there and let me hit him. Um, but I was told that a good way to prevent heartburn was not to drink while you eat, and I'm like, no, I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> One, two, three, hoop pumpkin! Hey, how you been? It's been a while. By the way, it's 69 matches in my one hero. I had 69% win rate. Nice! Well, I mean, 69% win rate isn't not good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just messing with you. Flippin' time! Hold this. Oh, I missed. Is it? Oh, actually, you know what? That's a- it, it is? I'm sorry, I didn't know. Lo-fi just blew up a man. I did. I had him hold onto a bomb and blew him up. I've been pretty good. Been going through a lot of changes. Um, with, like, schedules and stuff and a lot of- a lot of- Oh, I missed! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that one. Oh, this is gonna take a while. If your win rate's over 60%, you're considered very good in solo queue. If it's 69 in a team, that's average. Oh, cool. So I missed. <laughs> Egg salad. All right, I feel like we're getting into territory that I don't recognize anymore. Looks like we got them all. Looks like we got them all, Max. Where are you? You okay, Max? 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 All right, so. I did it. It finally happened. Of course, it would happen the one time we talk about it. Wario said excellent, but it's- Oh, excellent! Night, have y'all! Hope you have a nice night! Bachi! Bachi? Or Bachi? Because I, I know Chi is- Two C's is Chi. Bachi? Pet, 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 thank you! Bachi! It is Bachi! The king of solo queue in this game was going around 65% win rate. Not sure what it is now, but he's a stellar player. Granted, his heroes, his hero win rates are like 70 to 80%. Dang! Then I apologize for um, speaking without speaking without knowledge about your win rate. 69% is a very good win rate. Then, fantastic! Good job! I am very proud of you. All right, on we go! Excellent! Okay, we need to get out of here and heal. Now something like 100, 120 matches and 63% win rate. Yeah, I was playing that old dra that dragon game that I think it was LPG introduced me into. It was either LPG or Access, I think. Um, um, for my first, I think for my first like five, five to ten matches, I was 100% win rate. <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> Goodbye, Shingala. I don't like that it's called that. I don't like that the entire name of the segment of the chapter is Goodbye, Shingala. It's scary. It's like I don't know if Shingala is gonna gonna just leave or die sadly or oh cool. There's a fishing contest anyway. <laughs> Can I go fishing in the ocean? Here, I mean... 
Or does this not count? Huh. You do move at a normal speed in the ocean. Or in the water with the... I'm gonna try a petite fish. See what happens. Well, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna try a Minon because, um... Abstract Advocate said that Hamahamas are really, really small. So I'm gonna try... Oh. I want to try catching me a small hama hama. You get the air with cream. Oh, God, I hope not. Have you seen Shingala? He's a big old Loch Ness monster type Lapras dinosaur. Well, I didn't remember if you were here when we saw Shingala. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Yay! Okay, dude, he's a 55 centimeter one. How big is, uh, Florb? Or Forb? How big is Forb? Sixty-four centimeters. Pretty good. Pretty good. But I think we're gonna go ahead and let this little man go back into the water. Off you go, baby. All right. So the minon doesn't seem to do it. We could try a carrot. I wonder if the carrot ends up with anything good. Water fishing. We're just fishing while standing in the water, getting our overalls soaked. Looks like sunrise, actually. Oh, I just realized we're using a carrot. There might not actually be a carrot fish here. Yeah, there usually isn't. I think the um, the Umada I think the Umadakara is the only carrot fish that you can get. That's the horse fish. You guys remember the horse fish? It's the fish that looks suspiciously like a horse. <gasps> I remember I watched Goblin Slayer and still say it's a good series. The beginning was so supposed to show that there's absolutely no redemption for those evil little things. One friend hates it and calls me sick. What should we do? If he oh, <laughs> yeah, that agreed. I refuse to watch it. Yeah, um... A Goblin Slayer is an interesting show. Because the first episode is absolutely nothing like what the rest of the episode is. <laughs> or what the rest of the series is. Um, it starts out as a dark, gritty, some may say excessively edgy, um, take on a fantasy world. Yes! Whoa! 64 centimeter boy! <laughs> Look at the round boy! Oh, no, it's okay, Borb. I didn't... No worries. I won't bring it up. You can, you can just say that a topic is making uncom you uncomfortable. You don't have to... <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're good. Hold on. I won't talk about Goblin Slayer. I won't talk about it. I've heard Goblin Player has some very- it does have some very bad parts, but what I was getting at is that it starts out making you think it's going to be this 
really excessive, excessive dark anime, and it turns into basically a D and D anime. That's a, into a D and D campaign. Now I'll drop it. I'm sorry. Um, you if you if a topic is making you uncomfortable, Barb, you just gotta let me know, and I'll drop it. If you want to hang around, coincidence. Oh wait, really? <laughs> like actually? Oh wow. Okay. Well, no worries. I hope you have a good day then. Good luck with your very sudden need to leave. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Well, yeah, it was a it was a weird ride. It was a, it was a very weird ride and experience. I'll say um, there were some bits that didn't really make sense to me. Oh, big fish. OK, focus. I got to focus. Really big fish. OK, now oh, this is going to take a while. Oh, no. No way. Wait. My strength isn't high enough. <gasps> My strength isn't high enough. This is what, this is what Abstract Advocate was saying. Uh-oh. I can't, I can't use the pull direction. Because I don't have enough strength. Oh, this is going to be a really big fish. I just gotta be patient, calm, just kind of the small bursts, small spurts of pull. The biggest issue, though, is that the fur, the closer the fish gets, the higher the minimum becomes of the safety of the tension, the line tension. It might not actually be the closer; it might actually be how long it goes. See, see that. Hopefully I can still do it. Uh oh, it's settling in halfway now. I might not be able to do this. I might not be able to get him close enough. is pretty much I think pretty much three meters away is all it needs to be anime in a long time in my opinion oh oh i caught a merlin <laughs> i did whoa oh man okay that's awesome now that makes me happy let's see how big this boy looks in the tank I guess it has to do with the fish, the fish's base size. Because he's not even as big as the boy. Or like very close to it. Oh, that's right. No, I totally forgot. The boy's 96 centimeters. So, well, no, he should be. Okay, he should be significantly longer then, but. 
Oh my god, we did it! We got a 107 centimeter fish! Yeah! Five, 105 enemy centimeter fish. Um. <laughs> so, left, did you watch Free Run yet? Um. So, anyway, this fish, um, uh, very, very cool big fish, uh, no, I have not. I have not watched the rest of Free Run yet. I did watch the first episode. I haven't gotten around to watching the other ones. I'm sorry. I've got a lot of things that I've been um, falling behind on and um, putting off. But I would love to do that. It's. I would love to actually watch the rest of Free Run at some point. And then maybe, maybe we could talk about it. Like through DMs or something so that we don't spoil it for the rest of everybody else. One, two, three, hope. True story as a kid, I booted up a nest rom called the Blue Marlin. It sounded pretty cool based on the name, but it turned out to be had nothing to do with the wizard. <laughs> no! Poor Amanda Bear! I actually didn't expect Free Rin to have fights. I thought it would be a specifically a um Sort of like a more somber um, slice of lifestyle um, anime, so that's very interesting. Let's see. Um, just judging by the first episode, I mean, fights are few and far in between. Makes sense. So Kaji, I think we name him. Based on what we named the small Kaji, I think we should name him. Name them. I didn't actually check. Chonky Stabber. Yeah, Chonky Stabber. There he goes. There she goes. Chonky Stabber, 105.4 centimeter Kaji. God, I love the boy so much. No donkey should reasonably be that big. Any going on by fine? Have a great rest. Thanks, Rabbit. I might be actually winding down real quick because I want to. I want to get some things set up for tomorrow. I want to try to get some things set up for tomorrow and stuff, too. And I think having caught Chonky Stabber is a pretty great place to end the end the session. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm kind of feeling this as a stopping place, though. I know we haven't made it to five hours. Chonky Stabber is a really name, thank you! Because, <laughs> uh, if I remember correctly, our other Kaji is named... Tiny Stabby, yeah! <laughs> I did start late. Oh, oh yeah! Well, that's the thing, is... Oh no! Hazu appeared! Just kidding, we love our Hazus! Let's see... Bye, Bye, Rabbit! So, I believe Tiny Stabby was actually fairly small because I believe I bred Tiny Stabby. I don't think I caught Tiny Stabby. Where's Tiny Stabby? Oh, that was the one! That was the one! A 49... It was the... I... I... It was... I got a Kaji, I guess, when I bred a... No, I guess that was a... Nonky with something. I think it might have been a Nonky with a Tartan? Fused a sewing needle. Yeah. I think when I fused a Nonky with a Tarton, perhaps. I got a tiny I got little 49.9 centimeter tiny stabby. She's cute. She's I think she's pretty heavy though for a 49 centimeter fish. Hmm. I have some numbers to crunch myself and I have to find my rolling counter. Oh. So yeah, that makes sense. Alright. 
I think we'll go ahead and call it there then. Oh, I am already back up to 4,100 Gilda without using Mayor Need. That's insane. I wasn't even using Mayor Need. And suddenly I'm back up to 4,100 Gilda. Good Lord. I remember, hold on. Uh, was he getting his points back? He was. Okay, so they do get points while you're with them. Oh, that can be pretty useful then for like long dungeon crawls or something. Cool. All right, I think that'll be it for today. Uh, just a small stream before we do an absolutely, it's been a fun stream, thank you, I'm glad. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun with you guys today. We've been talking a lot of fun stuff and having lots of fun. Ugh. All right. And it's just a great having Philip posting what you have, but you don't have to worry about that. Don't stress yourself too much over it. I want it to be fun. I want watching my watching my stream to be fun. I don't want you to worry about a responsibility to post well, but I will agree. You've got some really great posts. <laughs> I love all of you guys. Um so Ah, sorry. Not my mic. So, thank you everybody for coming. Real quick, um, for anybody who's not aware, I have a Discord server. Hopefully the link works. It does. Oh, that's right. I changed it so they just post the link. I have a Discord server. It's a wonderful place where you can get access to my schedule as well as times when I go live. Ah, I'm just glad I'm not feeling as tired lately. Hence, better posts, of course. Uh, cool. And hang out with me and other low fans. It's a wonderful, fantastic place where you can get... I was about to repeat myself. It's a wonderful, fantastic place. We have a lot of fun. We do great, great, great fun there. Oh, jeez. Maybe I need to work on my posts. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Yeah, I guess that'll be... So tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow is going to be very, very, very exciting. Tomorrow we are... Celebrating the the second anniversary of my stream. I have a lot. I I have a lot of potential things that I'm working on ideas for. I believe I have a pretty fantastic day planned tomorrow, though. So get ready, because it's going to be fantastic. You better be ready. <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully we're going to get started um, at the normal early time. I'm going to do my absolute best to make sure that I do. Um, because I really, really want to get as much time in for the, for the, for the anniversary as I can. I know it's, it's probably not going to be as long as like a wheel stream, but it might be. It might be as long as a wheel stream. Uh, we'll see. I've got lots of different things I'm thinking about. <laughs> Yay! I hope you all, I'm glad you're looking forward to it. Um, but yeah. Thank you everybody for coming. I hope you had a lot of fun. I did too. I mean, I really, I really enjoyed all the fishing. And honestly, I have been, there has been a little bit of, I know it's silly. I will actually actively admit it's a little silly, but there has been some fish based angst around the uh, inventory space. But um, artificial ad, or, uh, no, ad advocate. Why can't I? Advocate. Advocate, if you're watching this, uh, thank you so much for the idea about <laughs> releasing the fish. That was really sweet of you. Um, and yeah, I um, love each and every one of you. And I hope you all have. We only got one game of Sfida, though. We have to do more Sfida next week. Or, yeah, next week. <laughs> and I hope you all have a wonderful, amazing, fantastic, terrific awesome tacular rest of your day and i'll see all of you guys tomorrow